Hello and welcome everybody. We are jumping into the CVFR squad that's going to see tonight Fritos and Africa going against uh, the Sharks and I gotta say they have started off on the pick and ban phase. We were so close 30 seconds apart from actually or I guess I would I missed it by a minute. I missed it by a minute the timer the countdown it is what it is. Let me actually open up the screen so you can see what's going on. We do have them um, in the um, CVGG website and they are right now choosing the map bans. We do have them already taken out Seven Seas, Pangea Classic, uh, Lake, uh, Lakes, and the uh, Continents and Islands. Hello there, sir, uh, Eddie Coffin. Good evening, sir, and welcome. And bonsoir, monsieur, uh, and Sasso, uh, bienvenue. Also, Project Cisco. Hello there, sir, and welcome. Welcome. We do have Hilarious Lotus. Also, good evening, sir, and uh, welcome. Hello there, uh, YouTube. How is everybody doing there? I hope uh, you, everybody's good. Uh, spring... Uh, also hello there buenas noches uh, Frankie four fingers hello there sir and welcome Galuk Shand also good evening sir I'd wanna ask, uh, I wanna answer over here with the chat on the welcome screen I wanted to get the animation a lot bigger so that I actually made um, the text chat a lot smaller or I should say the space that I could dedicate to a possible text chat a lot smaller I'm gonna look for ways uh, to actually improve the chat I'm not uh, really comfortable right now with uh, how the chat appears on the stream but I do need to fix uh, one thing at a time definitely it's on my to-do list thank you so much for pointing it out. Uh, Rafifi, bonsoir, monsieur, et bienvenue. Daniel Rigo, good and abend, my head. Uh, willkommen. Uh, und willkommen. Uh, also, I gotta say, big shout out. Garuk Shan did uh, right first in the channel. Thank you so, uh, so much, sir. Uh, I do want to say they did actually start up over here on... Um, uh, the pick and ban phase and we're gonna see them uh, starting to choose their uh, civilization picks um, their their bands and then after the picks now we do have uh, d sharks on the left side and uh, fdlv is gonna pick up on the right side over here their uh, civilizations and uh, bands uh, well it looks like uh, d sharks are actually thinking what they should uh, start this up uh, with and uh, well, they do have 22 seconds to go until they're gonna go for this primordial volcanoes will be sad no it's not primordial it's pangea standard riches i believe so yeah we we do have another standard ridges map being picked up and uh, this actually gives me the opportunity to put it up over here on the screen there we go standard ridges the continent splits will have a lot of mountains a lot of mountains so basically a bit of a sim map we do need to see uh, how they're going to go through this band phase with hungary being picked up as a man first and it looks like also chandra gupta taking the axe from ftlv we've seen uh, yesterday how uh, both of the um, india personas uh, did get taken out um, for different reasons uh, one definitely with the military the other one definitely with this, his seeming powers uh, gandhi over there very very strong now uh, looks like also sumeria picked up the ban from d shark i do want to mention we do are st we are still playing on 57 uh, bbg on the live version not the beta version so a lot of the bonuses that you've seen uh, recently on the streams uh, on the civilization six players are not actually active right now in the game a lot of the community is actually um getting um trying out as much as possible all of the possible combinations when it comes to uh, getting that bbg going uh gzk hello there sir and welcome also uh, 7c seems to have fallen out of favor not seen it in a while that is also true that is also true but to be honest it I don't know if you see it, but the maps kind of come, come in waves. Like sometimes we got Highlands. Sometimes it's going to be the period of 7C. Sometimes we got the players coming back to Pangea. Then they're going to start getting some lakes in or something like that. You know what we haven't seen in a very long time? Tilted Axis, Inland Sea. What are those maps? You know, like we're going to need to take a look over there. Maybe we find some games. Uh, Bosomos, you uh, Spilke. Hello, Derson, and welcome. Now we do have uh, Cleopatra and uh, Theodora being taken out by FDLV and I do see Macedon also has been taken down by uh, the Sharks. They do have two more bands to go on one side and uh, two more bands to go on the other side. Okay, so four in total. Sitiag just got taken down. Three more bands remaining and we're going to see the pick. And there we go. Gandhi also has been taken out by FDLV. Uh, it looks like they don't want to take the risk of uh, Gandhi being in the game and having that free sim option. And uh, we do need to see um, how they're going to set the tone also. Like I'm pretty sure the Sharks um, will need to pick up a very strong civilization as this first pick and they're probably trying to wiggle their options over here trying to uh, weigh them and see how their opponents will react and maybe they will get that uh, perfect pick they want to go for first now uh, but I would be curious to see what uh, that gives with more forest Ah, uh, yes yes actually forest balancing on inland sea uh, is not something that I've seen yet and I, I, I'm actually quite curious and I'm actually quite curious um, on the other maps as well. I only got to play like a few maps with uh, the forest balancing uh, before we like a lot of the community switched to the better and balanced maps mode. And then uh, we couldn't do any more tests on the other one. Like, I don't know, it is what it is. 
Yeah, it, it, we're gonna see when uh, the versions are gonna be stable now. I'm pretty sure we do have uh, Shaka being taken out this time around by the Sharks, and we do have on the right side of the, also FDLV uh, needing to pick up their last ban. After this, this is the last chance to take out a civilization that the Sharks really want, because uh, afterwards the Sharks are gonna get their first pick on the board. And uh, I'm pretty sure they are already having a civilization in mind, regardless of this ban of uh, FDLV. We're gonna need to see if it is actually gonna be the one that if the LV bans or not uh, also but i would be uh, oh, oh i see eddie coffin was just uh pointing out that uh, he would do i see i see how it is i see how it is yeah okay come on fdlv let's go i think brazil is very good on this uh map cool whip hello there sir uh yeah yeah i mean let's see let's see and with the bbm you never spawn on border i mean literally on borders uh wait no you you actually wait is that ironic speaking <laughs> because from what i've seen you do spawn on the I, we've seen some test cases over there you actually do spawn on the borders anyway uh vietnam it looks like it's gonna be the choice for uh, the sharks here in the first uh pick we do have ftlv needing to pick up two civilizations and definitely vietnam's extra culture from the beginning and the opening with tons will give um, her quite a few uh, um advantages we're going to see if uh, it's going to manage to actually get some timings going or if he's going to just go full free sim over there definitely on the pangea standard ridges map there's a significant chance that you're going to have natural border separating you uh, from your opponent but we've seen also what happens when you are in a cage fight where basically the land just locks you in and you can't get out and you need to fight your next door neighbor you also think uh, inland sea you can't cross from west to east so if you're in a corner oh yeah 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 a corner spawn that's very bad very bad and we do have uh, fdlv picking up with Khmer, definitely a strong civilization we haven't seen him in quite some time and i'm actually quite curious how uh, the sim is going to be approaching who's going to play it here now we uh, know that Khmer is a very strong civilization it's one of the high faith making civilizations in the game but at the same time it kind of fell off a favor with uh, quite a few nerfs that were applied to uh, Khmer and then other buffs that were did to the other civilizations so definitely a lot more power spike in the other ones but I do still think it is uh, most um mostly on the player preferences that they just play uh, prefer to play with other lizards and the power level of the civilization doesn't really uh go into the equation that now we do have uh, to take a look what their second ban will be here if they will need to uh, pick up a second civilization in the next 12 seconds they don't have that much time to go and they definitely need to find it and uh, pick it and it looks like it's going to be one of the stable ones catherine de medici uh, the black queen most of the time it does know to spawn well and at the same time it does manage to uh, do become be relevant for the most part of the game of course even in war situations that extra diplomatic visibility does help out so much and neither shah is also going to pick up um be picked up here by the shies uh, with uh, this definitely a lot more economy there we're going to need to see if uh, vietnam is going to be entangled in war or will be able to uh, get an economy of its own not usually what that what vietnam does best right get an economy uh, Beasley, hello there sir and welcome Pick Japan and never lose. Yeah, exactly. Like I also hello there, sir, uh, Colorado. Good evening. Good evening. Um, well, not Japan, but specifically Tokugawa, <laughs> right? Specifically Tokugawa. Pick Tokugawa, win game. That's basically it. They didn't ban him. They didn't ban him yet. You see, there are four more bans remaining, and they still didn't ban Tokugawa. We definitely can see Tokugawa in the game here. And we do have uh, FDLV needing <clears throat> to pick up the nearest uh, ban while well, I'm pretty sure the Sharks are waiting to click on buttons there. It looks like Goal is appearing here for FDLV on the ban screen with only one ban remaining on their side. Well, the Sharks, let's see what they're going to go for. <laughs> Oh, hello there, Wurek. Good evening, sir. And welcome. Okay. Did we have Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan Mongolia is going to take the axe over here. Not going to be allowed to play in by the Sharks. While FDLV is going to need to pick up their last one. I do have to say uh, they will be the one to pick first uh, in the next pick phase. After these two bands are going to finish, they're going to have their third 
possibility to pick up a civilization while uh, the sharks will need to pick up the last two so basically reveal that whole roster before fdlv gets to pick up the last save and of course uh, gives them a chance to retaliate somehow get one of those counters yesterday though we did think for example um, theodora going against spain they were kind of countering each other but at the same time you gotta remember it wasn't it was Theodora that did manage to overwhelm Spain. I could say it is kind of because of the spawn, like uh, Spain didn't really have where to go, didn't really have good uh, other cities that he could go for and, and keep on expanding, while Theodora definitely had a lot more land uh, to benefit from. So kind of kind of made the game over there, in a sense or another. Also, Lady Tix guys fell in disgrace. Yes, exactly. Fall, fell out of grace, actually. Uh, Gorgo also. Yeah, we didn't see Gorgo or Pericles for that matter. Also, I had my fingers crossed to see uh, Temujin. Wait, what Temujin? May, am I? I don't know what Temujin is. Uh, looks like we do have Cleopatra being uh, taken out as a ban over here. And... Uh, that's going to be from the Sharks, while on the right side we do need to see what uh, the last ban is, Montezuma is going to be the last ban, oh wait, I totally forgot to actually put it on, there we go. Okay, so first pick over here, first pick on the second phase from FDLV, they're thinking about it, they have 30 seconds and it looks like Hammurabi might be entering the stage with uh, that extra food from the Palgums, that's on the rivers, uh, on the freshwater rivers, that's going to be amazing, any improved tile over there having a lot of food that helps you grow your empire much much quicker and of course benefit from a lot of uh, extra districts, we don't need to see what the Sharks are going to get against this because yeah, they, they need to get that uh, power under control over here, so Rabbi definitely has the opportunity, or I should say, has uh, the um, the chance to get out of hand over there for their um, stats. Temujin is uh, Genghis Khan real name. Oh, I see, I see. Sorry, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. We learn new stuff. Noise. Temujin. Temujin. So wait, Genghis Khan is a made-up name. What? And they had personas. What? Okay, well, we do have uh, Congo here also being picked up by uh, the Sharks, or at least uh, they're thinking about... Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I mean, I think they just broke glass, guys. I think they just broke the glass. This is basically, you know, broke glass when in trouble. When you don't know what to do, break glass. That's what happened here. Tokugawa got picked. We got him appearing on the Sharks. Uh, and it looks like they also went for Poland here. That, that's a very curious uh, civilization. I mean, definitely the Wing Hussar attack. We haven't seen a Wing Hussar attack in so long. But uh, really? Is it is it good? I mean, I guess we'll see. We'll see. It definitely, I mean, I, I'm open to uh, everything here. But we do need to see. We haven't seen. We got to admit to ourselves that we haven't seen Poland in such a long time. Yeah, I mean, such a long time. I don't know <clears throat> when it was the last time. I think it was in the CCC. That's like four or five months ago. That's a long time. Anyway, we don't have FDLV needing to pick up the last civilization. And of course, we're not going to talk that much about Tokugawa's power spike. We all know what he can do. I'm pretty sure everybody knows by right now on the stream. And it looks like his brother is going to be picked up on the other hand. We do have Hojo also appearing on FDLV's side. He's not going to let him be the only one with electronics factories. Yeah, let's go. Uh, GBL played it recently versus HOH. Oh, I see. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, they actually got a game going. Yeah, in that one game they got going. Yeah, yeah, good, nice. Okay, let's see. I do want to also put up um, another thing on the screen here. We, I was looking at the standings uh, from the beginning and it looks like SPA is on 6-5, and five, right? They got uh, a win yesterday. D-Shark is 5-5. Five and five. If they do manage to get a win tonight, which of course is going to be quite hard, they are fighting the first ones in uh, the group. And we will see Sharks managing to tie SPA with only one game afterwards remaining. Of course, we're going to need to see if that's going to be a differentiator or that is actually going to put uh, them tied again we do have them uh, in the lobby and i believe they're uh, reading up uh, oh i think we're missing one but it looks like we're missing one because pulp should be on the spectator slot and i'm pretty sure we're missing one that i don't know who anyway now uh, we can actually have a little bit of time here to put up uh, the other settings like uh, take a look at the um, 
Let's close the screen because we don't need this. We do need to give me a second. Put uh, team labels. I cannot do that right now. Oh, predictions. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. The predictions. Oh, oh no. I did uh, something bad. I clicked the wrong button. Okay, there we go. Uh, start uh, how many remaps? 0, 1, 2 possible with a 10 minute sub period. We got this going and I want to put it up on uh, YouTube as well. And again, hello YouTube. Chris Mo, good evening, sir. Welcome. Vietnam is one of my favorites. Yeah, we're going to see the boy chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so uh, let me write over here the poll for how many remaps. And it's going to be possible answer 0, 1, and 2. Start a poll. There we go. There we go. It was a free in Poland, but they lost because Mr. Toast pushed them. Oh, wait. Okay. Well, just Mr. Toast pushed them. They couldn't actually get the timings, the defenses. I don't know exactly what happened or what uh, Mr. Toast was playing. Uh, was that uh, kind of a like Zulu timing, fascism timing attack with uh, tanks and stuff? uh okay they're asking uh pop to move and i do see them uh, starting to pick up the civilization petit pascal is gonna go for nader sham we got uh fierce was here on jayavarman the seventh uh tiriti is gonna pick up uh, hammurabi apology is gonna be the one with jadwiga we got uh, also popili dead needing to pick up his civilization josie 06 is gonna go for tokugawa and ttube of course hmm, trademark on the catherine de medici black queen man he played so many times and of course he plays it very very well we do need to see what kind of territory he has but usually i'm i gotta admit Catherine de Medici knows how to spawn. You know, it is leader biased. Knows how to spawn. Nemesis, good evening, sir, and welcome. Two exams tomorrow. Oh my god, man. Good luck. Good luck, and I hope uh, you're gonna get the concentration you need. Also, Mr. Tozo was on Basil, killed Babylon, and went into Poland after. Oh, I see, I see. It was uh, he kept on going with those uh, promoted units. I see. Well, that that sounds yeah, that sounds terrible on the map. <laughs> uh, rolling ball of uh, tagmas does definitely sound terrible. Yeah, and now with more rainforest, with more forest, uh, Vietnam is less random than before. I'm not sure if it's more forest. Uh, the forest balancing doesn't actually add more forest. It just uh, spreads uh, spreads it around differently. That's about it. Like the, instead of having a lot of it uh, concentrated in the middle equator, like in the middle of the map, you have them uh, spread out evenly across the map. Uh, Vietnam potentially very strong here. Yes, yes. I mean, all, to be honest, all of these civilizations have their own uh, power spikes, and all uh, are there, uh, all of them are actually very, very good when it comes to uh, seeming and warring at the same time. We're going to need to see uh, how and what kind of options they're going to have uh, because of the map. And of course, if they will actually keep uh, the map, they're going to roll right now we do have also so Firsos is going to be the one with Jaivar on the seventh and uh, looks like floppy is going to pick up battery you uh, i think those are the two ones that we didn't actually uh, talk about earlier okay tirits with uh, hamurabi i think we've seen actually previously tirits with hamurabi also on quite a few ma quite a few times so i'm pretty sure he's quite comfortable with the civilization um whoa 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 Emu later. Of life okay. Water. Where did it, the emu the go? Beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Okay, now we're jumping into the game with uh, the first map, and uh, let me actually put up my screen over here on the left side so I can uh, see things properly and also check out. Uh, oh my God! Not this, not this, not this, but this. Okay, this, this, and it's not. Uh, what? it is okay i see i see how it is it is okay and this right here now soup noodle uh, soup noodle good evening sir and welcome Khmer in the game yes actually we got uh, quite a few things to talk about here but since we can and uh, take a look at the map we do uh, need to take a look at catherine de medici the black queen on ftlv this time around we're gonna first take a look at um <laughs> Fresos de la Vega. I do notice again, France knows how to spawn, so he got a plus three campus right next to it. A plus five, uh, no problems for him. Another plus four, plus four. Because, you know, that's how it is. Another plus four in a second city. I mean, you know, I think I think it's decided till now. T-Tube knows how to spawn. We do have him also with uh, quite a few uh, extra settles over here. Some of them on amenities, some of them not. I do have to say uh, food might be a problem uh, in this territory, but he does have a decent amount of chops, and I do see quite a few resources for him 
him to um, to improve and relatively easily another uh, cotton setter here if he wants to go there now i do want to take a look also at his uh, appeal if you take a look uh, he oh wait not appeal sorry sorry uh resources next to for the chateaus i was meaning for the chateau so he definitely has uh, this one over here that's going to be quite good uh yeah it's fine he has quite a few of them next to rivers and next to luxury resources that's basically the better prerequisites now we do need to take a look at the uh, hojo 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 where, where do we have hojo hojo is not here okay nobody's uh, a poor soul on that other side of the map we got uh, persia here in the middle poland 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 okay this is babylon where is hojo hey guys we lost hojo hojo where is poor Hojo if he's not here? Is he oh 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 there is a poor soul on the on the side of the map. Oh my <laughs> Oh man this guy is cut off from everything <laughs> He's gonna go to space and nobody's gonna get him. Look at this. He has such a good mountain uh, uh, mountain ridge over here between the continent splits he has um, in the north. And oh my god, a wander over there in the middle with a 4 to 1 a banana. That I'm not sure he's ever gonna settle. And uh, I, I do see him just in a corner, just sitting all by himself. Man, he's not gonna get to trade, he's not gonna get to do anything here. We're gonna need to see if maybe Paris is gonna get a city on the southeastern coast, and that will activate the trade routes. That's that's gonna be nice well we do have him with uh, some decent cities that he can place on the coast and i do see he's gonna have uh, quite a strong um uh, god of the sea if he wants to go there we does have also wait a second wait a second uh, i i guess well, definitely can work the cities i'm not sure if it's gonna be uh exactly what he wants here but anyway this is japan i'm pretty sure he's adaptable with his uh, extra dis uh, district adjacency from other districts and also uh, everything uh, else on japan now uh, let's see tokugawa would have loved this pawn no traders yes basically he will be in a naval fight against uh, the other japan oh my god yes you you're correct you're correct oh, we're gonna have japan against japan well let's see who's the better brother no well let's actually take a look at hammurabi also let's see babylon here coming up with uh, three tens for a scout and uh, by the looks of it his warrior is gonna start exploring the southwest we got Auckland there so that's definitely a lot of uh, potential extra production on those uh, coastal uh, tiles while i do notice babylon is gonna have uh, the ability to get that amber tile to the northeast and exactly that's what he's doing asking uh, gold um, favors over here from his allies so he can actually buy that amber for himself we do have him also with a decent amount of river networks good mountains for adjacencies plus threes plus fours plus uh, plus threes plus threes actually and we're going to need to take a look a little bit later to see how he's going to try to place the first ones he definitely has a few options here and depending how he's viewing this uh, same position we're going to need to take a look where is he placing his government plaza commercials uh, campuses and so on and how does he want to benefit from the palgums next to the rivers now uh, looking at uh, also Firsos, we do have him to the northwest of uh, Babylon and that is going to be quite close for them to uh, trade over here. Uh, it doesn't look like they can trade through water, can they? I mean, I guess you can set it up at some point, like maybe get a city here and another city here, but it is kind of awkward and I'm pretty sure uh, Firsos is not going to like awkward that awkwardness. We do have uh, Angor Tom with a decent amount of... Um, the science from these geothermal fissures and the mountains around him he does have river networks good for his um uh, holy site bonuses and i do notice he's gonna have a decent amount of distance between him and his opponent but this is not gonna be as far as he would like to Petit pascal has the opportunity to uh, take uh, khmer on from the beginning of the game which is gonna put quite a bit of pressure on uh, the economy of khmer since he doesn't usually like to go for a lot of commercials at the beginning it's just not in his uh, pathway well he is gonna need a goal from his teammates if he wants to upkeep his army and of course it's gonna be a sad day if we see drums of war plus initiation at pantheon on khmer can you imagine that khmer with drums of war from the beginning because masha can definitely pull it off that's no problem right drums of war in camons everywhere you just go fully rally into angor tom it is what it is <laughs> just spam those immortals like as much iron as you have uh, it is going to be a significant problem here for Philosophers to do the same thing 
Now we do have uh, Josie. Let's actually take a look here on the coast on the west side. And it looks like now we're jumping into the sharks. And he does have... Oh my god, this is a beautiful spawn. He's not even... I don't think he's going to get the next city on the coast. Guys, I don't think he's going to get the next city on the coast. Like, this is too good to pass. Now, Olive with so much gold and another possible um, amenity to improve while he can get another city there in the northwest anyway for another amenity and some truffles i mean it, it, no no this, this kind of looks like it this 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 south is kind of icky i mean except the fish tile which is going to be uh, quite nice it doesn't look like he's going to have uh, more more tiles to use over here unless he picks up uh, god of the sea and maybe gets uh, the favor of getting this uh, third ring tile well, we do have him pumping out a setter, and I'm pretty sure he has the vision over uh, Cero de Potosi. He didn't discover it yet, uh, the full wonder, but he knows about the tiles, getting the extra gold and extra production next to them. This is quite a uh, pog. Very nice. Very nice for him. Uh, that will finish in uh, Defender of Faith uh, Khmer. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Wait, uh, both, you think, uh, both are going to remap? Jijil, hello, there's Seren Chokela, also Bonsomos should be on venue. He will be, uh, thank you so much, by the way, for the, pump, uh, for the pointer, 40 night good evening sir uh, nobody will even notice pompey being in the game <laughs> yeah exactly like that's just, just gonna be like magical gold points just coming to them right and uh, maybe some horses they're just appearing out of nowhere i don't know man they're flying everywhere anyway and with, let's uh, come back here for floppy flown g we do have uh, vietnam thang long getting his uh, setter out in two turns and uh, he did actually meet france next to him this is gonna be uh, quite a bit of a conflict between them they do have some motors to pass and we're going to see how they're going to try to acquire the territory to uh, see where they put their uh, defenses up now we do have him with a strong series well strong series well okay he series on the coast as well as um, on the rivers we're going to see where he's planning to put his sun setup which of course is, is uh, going to be quite the heart of uh, vietnam at the beginning of the game with a lot of culture that can be acquired and of course you can uh, use um, bingala at the beginning in the capital or I've seen uh, some Liang enjoyers, you know, everybody with his own uh, cookie, I would say. It is what it is. Now we do have uh, Apology also with uh, Poland to the west side of Vietnam. He's going to be right next to uh, Khmer. And this is going to be another enemy that Khmer needs to take care of uh, on the east side this time around. It is going to be much harder for uh, Poland to get to Khmer because of all of that um, hilly terrain and the mountains in between them. But I'm pretty sure uh, Poland later on is going to want to use his uh, Wing Hassans to go against Khmer. And we're going to see what kind of religions they're going to pick up. Well, usually Poland does go for uh, Reliquaries to benefit from the uh, triple... Uh, um, bonuses from uh, the relics and of course since he does get some uh, free relics it's amazing for him and we do need to see how fast uh, apology can get there and of course what kind of monumentality is he gonna have how much is he gonna invest into his uh, face generation how many holy sites and the other stuff he's gonna get and let's take a quick pick also on nader Shah to the northeast of uh, tokugawa he's gonna be safe here it look uh, well safe uh, kick w he's uh he's gonna be safe on the southwest but of course he's gonna have command on the east side to go against we do have him going towards the south looks like a settle on the incense is gonna be quite nice multiple sheep tasks this is is, uh, open sky directly open sky one two three four five six yeah and six uh, pastures around him more over here to the northeast okay seven and eight yeah it does look like an open sky here or oh, of course he could go out of the fort or something else i'm just saying yeah, extra culture would be quite valuable at the beginning especially if you know you're gonna go uh, something like drums of war Is that I don't know or LDK? Is that I don't I I, I guess it is kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know which one is it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Both teams defying chat and saying we got this. We got this boys. Okay okay oh, okay now also uh clap start hello there sir Khmer is stuck between persia and poland uh, yeah it looks tough it looks tough 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, Jokmila is sending that uh, good luck, have fun. Let's actually finish up uh, the predictions really quickly so we can talk about the civilizations here in detail and uh, see what kind of um, strategic resources are they're gonna have. Zero remaps this time around, and I'm pretty sure we got some high rollers over here. We're gonna see them uh, being shouted out here soon in uh, the chat screen on uh, Twitch and, of course, on YouTube. Oh, by the way, good evening, uh, Machiavelli. I just saw the message. Hello, hello there, sir. Now let's uh, see. YouTube also, in an overwhelming majority, went for the one remap at least but uh, it looks like there was somebody somebody or no actually some yeah somebody went for the zero option that somebody did manage to get that you nailed it sir zero it is zero it is okay so uh putting up the screens back together again in the correct uh, order and uh defied not defined yes defied Defi wait i said defined i said def i wanted to say defined they're so close to each other uh 153 to uh, 926 yeah there we go high rolling uh, rafifi there okay let's take it from uh, the back petit pascal uh, since we're already here let's see what does he have first of all he has a very nasty scout from Khmer trying to send the cats uh, towards mashad and of course uh, rip apart that city center we do have uh, petit pascal also moving with his settler towards the southeast where he already settled on the instant style getting that extra phase from the beginning it will give him the opportunity to not work first of all the god king card and work the production card which is gonna be nice uh, i'm pretty sure he's uh, also gonna want to um yeah, I would say get that path in as quickly as possible. We do have uh, Mashad getting another settler in four turns. He does have access to a horse style right next to the capital. And it looks like his iron is going to be second ring out. Very easy to improve and acquire. Uh, looking at uh, his next door neighbor here. No, he's actually on the opposite side. We do have... Oh, oh, oh it's fine. It's fine. Oh my god, Khmer is getting... Oh, look at this settler, man. He's, he's probably gonna settle the jade i'm pretty sure he's gonna settle the jade an apology the, oh my god he doesn't have enough moves no he can only make uh, make it to this jade not the other jade he's just gonna be looking at the at his opponent um neither could go artemis yes yes that is true Okay, Vimayapura has been, uh, Yasodarapura actually has been uh, put down. And yes, let's take a look at um, Holy Sites here. We got Poland going for his amenities, Amber Tiles, Holy Sites also coming around. He did settle a city next to a Fertile and of course he needs Armel Hospital to improve it. Has access to uh, both Iron and uh, Horses quite cheaply. I'm pretty sure the city of Krakow will grow into that tile. It doesn't look like he has another good tile to work, to expand into with the culture. We do have a Scout from uh, Khmer also managing to get in between enemy lines here and of course man, maybe maybe he's gonna get to the holy sites we're gonna need to see if there's gonna be any unit defending here poland at the moment he does not see the scout it's he's not aware of it because of the vision that is um over here from these rainforest tiles they block the vision of the scout behind the forest and we do have a Motrazi cannon also to the northwest basically that's a that's a uh, that's a golden nugget right there if they can manage to get it while I do notice Apology is starting to improve his Amber Tiles, he did buy out another Seal Tile for the extra culture. It's pretty good actually having the culture on a face civilization and especially Poland. You, you're just not interested in building those uh, monuments from the beginning. So the, any extra culture that you can get helps you keep um, the same pace that you need to keep with others when it comes to the, discovering the civics. Usually it takes quite a bit of time for the face civilizations to get to the civics they uh, they need because of that early investment of into the holy sites. Those few turns matter quite a bit now we do have uh, to take a look also on uh, vietnam to the east side of poland he of course already is starting to uh, put quite a few units against france here and uh, we're going to need to see how this is uh, gonna happen uh we do have uh, also uh, a builder oh wait a builder coming up from floppy and uh, we do have uh, bo, 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 sorry got distracted there now we do have another center coming up from thang long a forest fire to the west side here and uh, we do need to see uh, how and where he's gonna want to settle next since he did put hualu on the east side i'm pretty sure he's gonna need to uh, get this as a defensive um how to say citadel here going uh, to stop any kind of units from uh, France uh, moving across the mountains. This is uh, not ideal from France either, by the way. His uh, continent split is uh, stopping at the mountains, so that means his units, his Guard Imperials later on, are not going to benefit from those extra damage points uh, against their opponents. Uh, we do have... Um 
Also a setter coming up from uh, Thang Long. Uh, looks like uh, the Slinger is gonna get to uh, escort at a few more turns. And I do see the horse is uh, right next to Thang Long. He can improve it easily. And he has the iron also next to him. He's probably gonna discover Bronze Working soon uh, next turn. And he's gonna get the Thans and also the Vision over these um, Bronze Work, uh, over these uh, Bronze Tiles. Or oh, I should say Iron Tiles. Now we do have uh, also a bit of a fight here. France, it looks like he's getting his uh, ass uh, woo woo handed. Uh, we do have, uh, by the looks of it, also Floppy trying to get in there, getting his, um, getting his experience points until he's going to take out the scout of France. Of course, France uh, didn't actually, because he did move, he didn't actually manage to get the heal popping off. But he, and he does need a bit more, a bit more experience to get to that. Uh, level one well moving forward we got tokugawa on the western coast he already picked up the pantheon god of the sea and i do notice uh, he's getting his center out towards the north of uh, tokyo that's his capital city he's gonna go mid distance he's not going for cero de potosi just big no no he wants his harbors he wants his everything else and of course um, by the looks of it well oh my god this is such a bad city i guess he's gonna have the two two three travel tiles but no uh, resources to get Wait. Anyway, he's going for the monuments, he's going for the extra culture, and I do notice uh, he will have a decent amount of uh, production coming up from his um, uh, coastal resources. Actually, you know, we talked about this earlier, Takamatsu only makes uh, sense if he does manage to get that God of the Sea. You know, we do have uh, him also with available iron uh, in the second ring. I do see his horses is, are going to be uh, two tiles out on the east side. And definitely Cero de Potosi is um, a viable option for him. He's going one tile to the north. Okay, he doesn't want to spend the gold one less, uh, or I should say a much more better city to protect. But that will stop him from actually getting that olive tile settled to the north. Anyway, it is what it is. He's planning this out. And we're going to see if that's actually going to be exactly what he wants or what he needs. We do have uh, Jaya Varman the seventh also there. Oh my God! Look at how many units are around him. He needs to protect his uh, holy sites. He needs to get out the uh, units. He needs to delay settlers. He needs to also plug the chokes. So they're getting uh, from everywhere. These are like stinging bees, man. We got um, <clears throat> Petit Pascal moving out with his scouts from uh, next to the city of um, Khmer. But as you can see, Khmer already made Khmer invest into units, and this is slowing him down next to two civilizations, which definitely will have good tempo well i would say actually poland is going to be much lower tempo than khmer but uh, i guess we're going to need to take a look even so uh, we do have also khmer benefiting from an island out towards the west side in the first ring and uh, i don't see horses where are horses horses are third ring out towards the north underneath that scout i see i see now he did also pick up a pantheon oh my god it is going to be initiation right it is gonna be initiation rights guys and is this gonna be oh my god look at this holy site into encampment the famous initiation rights javarman the seventh bronze working ready okay okay i mean this is i gotta say this is kind of a disaster for khmer no no does anybody disagree this kind of is a disaster no uh, let's see uh tokugawa tokugawa managed to get the god of the sea rafifi Okay, so it looks like Poland Scout is uh, getting hit by a Slinger, it should uh, move off, of course uh, Yasudarapura is delaying getting the Holy Site, which will delay getting the Faith and uh, also the Religion, which in turn will have a big impact when it comes to his um, Golden Age on the Monumentality. We will need to see how much Faith he's going to manage to gather and of course uh, what kind of bonuses is he going to have. At the moment he has one Holy Site with one Shrine and that's it, well, and a Dream, he has a Dream. Now we do have uh, also Tirits to take a look at, Hammurabi towards the south, looks like uh, he is putting down Etemenaki from a second settle on the city of Mari, he does have Lady of the Reeds and Marshes to get that extra production on all of these floodplain tiles, and I do notice he's getting some defensive slingers here to help him um, get these units out of his territory, especially in Japanese uh, units from the west side. Now by the looks of it, he is protecting his uh, trader, and of course he is protecting Etemenaki, a scout just walked in, and oh no! Oh no! The famous switcheroo Josie gets in, gets the builder, and the sharks put one on the board. Oh my god. Oh beautiful. Just just that that was beautiful. I need to clip that. The, that just those few seconds over there. Definitely need to clip that. Oh my god. What did Josie do? 
What did Josie do, man? Da un etemenac să l să fim get the protecti scout just walked in and oh no, oh no, the famous switcheroo Josie gets it. Scout just walked in and oh no, oh no, the famous switcheroo Josie gets in, gets the builder. Scout just walked in and yeah, oh there no. we go. I got it. Oh please. Yo, noise. Uh, see when it's uh, networking strikes again. Wait, networking strikes? What do you mean networking strikes? Uh, team names, Lovania, good evening, sir. Yes, yes, team names. Oh my god, thank you for uh, reminding me. Uh, so on the left side, we got the uh, FDLB. And on the right side, we do have the sharks. The sharks. Yep, there we go. Team labels up and running. There we go. Thank you so much for reminding me. Also, fun to edit. Uh, how strong is Babylon in uh, multiplayer comparing to a single player? Good evening, sir, and welcome. Uh, it is still strong, but I think, uh, I'm pretty sure actually, not think that um, a base game Babylon is stronger. Definitely much stronger. Much stronger. Uh, Babylon in uh, BBG gets uh, the Pargum, with get, which gets an extra point of uh, food on each of the improved tiles uh, next to the fresh water. Uh, fresh water. I th I'm not sure if it's dedicated to rivers or uh, lakes also. I know it's fresh water. Anyway, so it should be both. Now we do have him also getting uh, the first building in the first district. So basically if you go commercials, you're going to get in the first commercial you build a market. If you go uh, libraries, you get in the first library you build one uh, in the first uh, campus that you build one uh, library and so on. Uh, which is pretty good as a bonus definitely helps you get uh, stronger much much faster now looking at his pantheon yeah okay we got uh, etemenak in eight turns his strategic resources he did lose the builder that he was building and needed to build another one he got also tapped over here in the north his uh, amber got pillaged and that means uh, one less uh, luxury resource that he's working right now we do have um, also to take a look here on uh, the iron tile it's going to be three times out towards the southwest and i doubt that he's actually going to go for bronze working at the beginning to improve it but it is expensive from all three cities that tile is very expensive uh, looking at uh, hojo we got him in a corner here looks like this is going to be free sim heaven no not free sim heaven because he does have a competitor on the other side that's going to be the two japans going against each other with maybe maybe a sprinkle of france in between like you know just a little bit just a tad bit we got the uh, harbors coming out from multiple cities here going for magnus internals i mean this is the way we got him also with uh, the builders improving his um sheep tiles to get the extra production on both of those and i do see him improving away for the extra amenity he definitely needs more but he doesn't really have any more wait yeah he did go for yokohama by the way in the osaka so he can use all three cities to pump out boats if he needs to uh they do know of the west side right they do know japan is somewhere west of uh, babylon i don't think they know exactly where i don't see a scout here so i would imagine they're just uh you know uh, putting two and two together now yeah, looking at his strategic resources, he has uh, horses and iron in his second city, Yokohama. And I do believe uh, both of them are quite cheap to improve. He does have a decent amount of settles uh, towards the north. Another, uh, these two cities that could be placed there. Not to mention, he already blocked off his choke towards France. Doesn't really matter. He has another one. That's an ally. We're going to need to see them uh, try to trade to each other also on the coast. He has uh, this inland city to go for on the west side if he wants to. And I'm pretty sure Flop is going to stay away from it. We're going to need to see if he's going to populate all of these um, coastal tiles or not yeah looking on the france we do have him with the god of open sky he is uh, starting to improve his passions and getting that extra culture from them one two three in that city of paris while uh, he did put bordeaux in the south it looks like he will need to improve the cotton tile if he actually wants to benefit from that extra amenity he has a three two horse tile next to the volcanoes which unfortunately does also mean uh, if he builds a pasture there is a, a significant chance that pasture is going to get burned to the ground well we'll see the magnus internals for him also doesn't really have uh, much choice uh la rochelle gonna go for the monuments and it does look like he's gonna have i want to say he's gonna have to improve that salt mine towards the southeast to benefit from uh, extra amenities this one also he's getting a few builders so i'm pretty sure he's uh, aware of uh, his amenity needs his people's needs how did these units get here oh my god they went all the way around and they actually got to the north of uh, floppy is even picking up the huts that uh, france never got kick and look how yeah he has quite a few more to pick up one two three 
I mean, he's just gonna keep on popping huts. You know, free builders, free settlers. Uh, that's exactly what France would have had. It is what it is. You want, let's actually take a look at the action meters here. Did we... Yeah, we talked about the nether at the beginning. He went for Goddess of the Hunt as a Pantheon. And actually, surprisingly, he didn't actually get that many camps yet. He did improve his horse style. So, of course, he's uh, acquiring those horse resources. And I do see him opening up commercials. And not going immediately for those encampments. He's uh, going to switch right now. I do see him going for mining and uh, state workforce while he will get the first district built soon i'm actually curious did somebody else open up state workforce it looks like apology did it kind of looks like apology did oh beautiful my god okay very nice very nice we got amber tiles over here already two of them improved with the extra three faith and three um, uh, gold from religious idols he's of course getting the culture on that those are amazing tiles to work from the beginning more of these uh, amber tiles that i can see only one more well, I guess that's still nine faith in total. Better than no faith, no? Uh, okay. Interesting choice. I mean, I don't really disagree with it, but I would have uh, th thought he would have needed more of these amber tiles to make it worth. I don't know, like at least six or seven, and he's kind of like bo topping out at five. Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, I need to see Tokumin invade Tokugawa. Yes, yes. His only horse is under Volcano. Exactly. Tokugawa will win. The Beasley is calling it out. Yeah, it might be. It might be, sir. Also, uh, good evening, uh, Lancer. Hello there, sir, and welcome. Uh, let's see. What do we have uh, over here? In between the two giants, T Tube and Floppy. It looks like uh, Thans uh, setup, not really the setup that we were looking for, but he's uh, gonna get that uh, campus in between. We do have uh, definitely quite a bit of culture being acquired at the moment by Floppy on 14 and 13 science, uh, going for Liang in the city of uh, Hualu and opening up with Magnus in the capital. Already improved for both of his strategic resources, and he definitely has uh, more of these um, amenities to improve. I see a honey tile, I see a tobacco tile, two tobacco tiles to improve he did manage to get the mercury so it definitely has more happiness uh, potential here soon we do see him in a, at a content level he's also getting the wait a second why are you getting a granary isn't barracks better isn't like the barracks give you a housing you know yeah it gives you housing well oh. Anyway, it is what it is. I guess he wanted the extra food as well or something. It is what it is. Did he build? No, he didn't build the barracks from either. So he's not even making... Uh, oh, he is. He is. He, did he get God of War and Plunder? He did get God of War and Plunder. Okay, so maybe that's why he's not going directly for those barracks. Uh, wow. Wow. Actually picking up the first... Look at that. Tenacious Dex. Good evening, sir. Picking up the first promotion. One hour into the stream. Amazing. Has anyone watched Shogun? It's about Tokugawa. I didn't actually watch Shogun. No, I didn't have the patience to do it. But Dune, though. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what do we have uh, next year. Uh, Japan, Japan, Pompilide getting his uh, Gavron Plaza down. I do see he already built uh, two of his harbors. Uh, no? Oh, yeah, he did build two of his harbors, about to get his lighthouse in his second city, while uh, Yokohama just finished that one. We do have uh, Magnus already giving him the bonuses for a trader, and uh, yes, he's going to go for his horses. We do need to see here what's going to happen between uh, Nadersha and uh, Khmer, while we do see Khmer has uh, chosen to expand a little bit more into Polish territory, especially, well, he probably knows that poland is gonna be a bit of a, um, a paper tiger at the beginning of the game is not really prone to invest that much into a military you know uh, we do also see tushpa is gonna and the uh, bakhtri are gonna finish their uh, commercials and yes magnus is establishing next time there we do see um that he's gonna get some more bonuses on these traders this is good oh trader actually he's gonna need to get the second one on political philosophy soon um he's also gonna get the fourth settler going by the looks of it okay he's putting on that uh, early um early empire card the settler one and we got oh this is much oh thank god 
thank god this is a much better city oh my god yes this is much better definitely worth uh, no no that's definitely much much better than actually killing off the olive uh, tile setup well we do have uh, tokyo here getting his um, builder out we do have uh, him about to chop another builder next time and he does uh, need to improve his horses uh, probably as well as his iron tile i'm pretty sure there's going to be quite a bit of uh, resource uh, requirements here on the Cumerian unit soon we do have him uh, finally finishing up his uh, second holy site and Yes, he still needs to actually acquire some more great profit points to get to the golden age, to get to uh, the religion. This actually might hurt him in the golden age option. Are they getting their golden ages? Okay, Firsus is fine. 27, 19, 31. Okay, everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. It's all good, guys. It's all good. Everybody has a golden age already like three turns before. Everyone forgot it? Yeah, this is Southeast Asia versus the Middle East versus Europe. <laughs> yeah. An uh, interesting uh, comparison. Oh, well, okay. So let's see. Babylon getting to finish his Etemenaki next turn. Liang uh, definitely going to get some help from uh, those tiles. He needs to put farms uh, here. And we're going to need to see what is he going to do soon. He did manage to uh, get his Gavaron Plaza down to the west side of Babylon. That probably is uh, preparing something for the other cities as well as uh, trying to get an aqueduct uh, slash industrial zone set up uh, in between. We do have him uh, chopping out his deer tile. That's a lot of production he can get quickly and uh, i'm pretty sure he's gonna be happy uh, chopping out a specializing building of choice in the government plaza if he wants to or another builder we still have charges on this but uh he kind of needs one for the iron right another one for the other iron if he wants to give it to his allies or three farms to get the extra bonuses on um or say on etemenaki no anyway uh we do need to take a look also on poland he did pick up a religion and the eastern orthodox is gonna have a reliquaries and defender of the faith he got the religion away from uh, Khmer. that is a bit of an issue here we're going to need to see if Firsos, uh i should say what kind of religion Firsos is gonna pick up but i'm thinking he's actually gonna go for work ethic uh i'm pretty sure work ethic uh, is gonna help him out a lot here we do have uh, audience chamber also chosen as a specializing building of choice for uh, apology he is putting down an encampment from lubin wants to get one of those uh, generals while we still don't see encampments from petit pascal by the looks of it in the tech tree he's going to discover bronze working in two turns and he has political philosophy also in two exactly at the time the era rolls over uh, we do also see moksha chosen as a first governor in angor tom and yes he's building up his faith uh, bonuses in the tech side going for horse by riding in nine i don't think he has campuses or commercials here and he's probably not going to have them for some time is he going in camels after the horseback or is he just rushing horseback wait he already i think he already has bronze no he has uh, improved uh, one of his iron tiles does he i'm pretty sure he knows about the iron we see the iron so he has bronze I would say uh, more east than southeast. Okay, welcome, Mary and Vietnam are uh, definitely Japan is southeast uh, Asia. Okay, okay, that's a big continent. Just saying. Uh, let's see France getting his government plus on one turning it uh, with uh, his amenities improved also finishing up some commercials here I do see he did improve that horse style next to the volcano even if uh, Puy de Dome over here is actually wow Lol this is um basically a dome youngling if i would have to, if i would see this word in romanian is basically like dome youngling pui means youngling kek <laughs> uh, or cub i guess it, the same thing now we do have uh, markets also coming out from Tito, and i do see he didn't actually go for the fourth and the fifth settlers while uh, it doesn't look like uh, neither did vietnam he's just getting his uh, campuses ready in between those towns and uh, trying to get the science rolling he does have a plus three campus in between there with uh, quite a bit of science coming out from hoa lu's uh, tiles work next to uh, dong nai thong thong or something huong um looking on the west side we do have uh, petit pascal also putting down temple of artemis for the extra amenities in that city center this is a very good um, investment for him a lot of amenities are going to be acquired here and of course going for that fourth settler wasn't he actually building a fourth or a fifth settler coming out from mashad or did i dream things anyway uh, he does have another three charge builder and this might actually be better if he wastes it in a to chop that temple of artemis i guess he doesn't have any competition does he 
Yeah, he doesn't have competition, so he doesn't care. Uh, Pelgrim's coming out from money. It looks like uh, the choice of Babylon was to go to improve the tiles with the farm. So he gets that extra science bonus. And in the meantime, he's starting to improve his uh, commercials also. Wait, what does he... What? Oh, oh, this is a marsh? I was so confused for a second that I wasn't understanding why does it have a science point on a camp. Uh, maybe I was missing some pointers there, but no, it looks like it's just, you know... The Temenanki doing the Temenanki things. Uh, Hojo started to improve his coastal resources, went for city Patreon Gunners, getting the 40% towards the first district. While I do notice uh, he didn't actually go to improve his iron tile, I gotta say that uh, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure Philsos is gonna use more horses than uh, anything else. And finally, he's getting his uh, religion soon. And we do have a great prophet here uh, coming out. Ancestral Hall in four turns also for Pompili Day. He's preparing his empire to spam as many cities as necessary to uh, populate this uh, southern continent. And we're going to need to see what is he going to do against Tokugawa on the east. Tokugawa actually uh, going for his uh, expansions right now. Did improve the majority of the resources he has access to. And uh, did manage to get the campus, um, I would say... Um, discount we got him with a plus four campus and uh wait that's actually moksha going into takamatsu i was thinking maybe he's gonna use uh, pingala in that city center but it looks like you know he got moksha it is what it is he's gonna get the culture uh, nagoya also started to uh, get the galley out he's gonna want to scout out his uh neighborhood and i gotta say there is a possibility they can fight with galleys also it's gonna be a long road through the north of the arctic ocean they can actually pass through from one side of the um, world to the other and uh we're going to need to see we're going to need to see josie is sending one of his galleys towards the west side and i'm pretty sure he's gonna end up uh, right smack into the face of uh, one japanese boat or a city one of the two you know now we do have um, also the next era activated. Most of the civilizations, or I should say, all of the civilizations did pick up uh, their golden age. Catherine de Medici and Russian voice uh, golden age on three cities, getting settlers out, getting the markets out, and a few new builders. Uh, I do notice uh, he is going to be on eight science right now with 22 culture, even though he is putting down campuses, and these are going to be. Um, I wanted to say strong ones, but then I see plus two. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be that strong. Yeah, well, uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to discover bronze working. And of course, he doesn't want to kill the sheep. So, yeah. It just ended up with a plus two. Uh, we uh, do need to take a look also on Pompey. 13 science with 22 culture on uh, Japan. He's still uh, getting his ancestral hall. Probably going to chop it next turn. And has another builder with a chop. Uh, putting production into settlers. Already getting to three turn them before he gets the extra production from ancestral hall. And did also manage to get that um, discount on his campus in Yokohama. Actually, that city center is four pop. And is probably only working like two good tiles. He definitely needs to invest a little bit more gold into these. And uh, build a chart just to get them uh, to get that city actually being productive maybe he switched the deer i think he switched the deer let me see where is this this is yokohama this is yokohama so he's working three three tiles three good tiles and maybe a stone tile there uh, looking at uh, Hammurabi, he's on 14 science and 14 culture. He did go for a Pembrush and Voice Golden Age, finished at Temenaki and two farms. And I do notice he's um, getting his own ancestral hall. Uh, same uh, preparation here for a lot of cities to catch up uh, on the on the early game. He does have a horse in production from Mari, and this actually brings me like makes me wonder. Is he planning to kill Auckland? That's his single city that he could go against. Is he planning to do that? Maybe they are. Maybe they are. Okay, is somebody actually getting uh, Auckland? No. Not right now. Petit Pascal and Firsos have uh, both points in there. Petit Pascal and Firsos are uh, from different teams. And of course, uh, that means both of them know where uh, Auckland is. I see. So they, instead of getting the risk of uh, leaving it, they're just going to kill it. Makes sense. We do have uh, Jai Farman the 7th here. Also getting his settlers out. Did manage to uh, get to 18 uh, uh, Faith Barton with 42 production. 11 science with 20 points of culture. Wait a second. Did he go for... Pen, uh, for uh, oh my god. He did. He did go for choral music. 
No, 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 no. Okay, I'm wrong. Actually, look at that. I'm very, very nice. Okay, work ethic with itinerant breaches. Okay, very nice. I was a bit afraid that his uh, culture is a bit uh, high. But anyway, and, uh, he was getting the culture from his uh, shrines. But no, no, it looks like Moksha first uh, with six pop uh, city over here. And a few of these uh, marble tiles were, was enough. We do have him uh, also getting in camera training projects. So he can uh, recruit one of the early generals. There are four of them. And it looks like Vidam did manage to recruit at least one Shun Tzu. We do need to see if he's going to get some projects because poland is on the case here he's trying to get the projects in the city of lublin with magnus while i do notice um Pirsos here well he does have a builder to chop it this time around if he wants to Pirsos um, does have monumentality golden age and he can move and chop at the same time eh? very nice and i just noticed he moved from the forest onto a stone tile wait he doesn't have masonry next time he's gonna get masonry Okay, well, I guess it's fine. It's, it doesn't look like uh, there's only one, right? There are three more generals. It's fine. Uh, Khmer looks safer than I thought. Uh, yeah, yeah, the mountains are uh, creating a forest over here, or a fortress over here. We're going to need to see how Petit Pascal is going to want to push him because you see he's uh, slowly creeping there. He's getting his cities. Uh, he's also getting those. Um, units uh, closer to Angor Tom's borders and putting down uh, encampments so yeah we kind of know what the plans of Petit Pascal are in the next uh, few turns here uh, looking at looking at Josie right we need to take Josie uh, Penbrush and Voice Golden Age, uh, more galleys coming out, sending them towards the west side here, and I do see still no galleys coming out from Japan, he just keeps on expanding here, not wanting to put uh, more into the vision. Odin Chamber also uh, declared in Tokyo as a specializing building of choice, and we do have uh, Magnus established already for the extra bonus on chops, not to mention though his internal trade routes, he definitely has a very very strong trade routes uh, right now with two districts in the capital city of Tokyo, about to hit the third um, district slot also, he just needs two more turns to finish that um, seventh population going for uh, this uh, olive tile setup that's going to be uh, giving him a lot of gold per turn at the beginning he's already on 44 and 18 signs with 26 definitely good results here 48 production also with only three cities getting more uh, settlers out to expand uh, south is not really an option to expand into directly on the coast but i'm pretty sure he can get a city here no he can no uh, not even that is that good i mean no coastal resources really uh, maybe uh, like the cattle tile is definitely a possibility and try to get the harbor and uh, get the harbor out three rings but that's about it but anyway now uh, we do have uh, also take a look at floppy with a uh, pen brush and voice gold range on four cities uh Vietnam, we do have him getting his fifth one soon, and he's probably gonna lock that northern choke as well, putting down another one of those citadels there. He does have a uh, six settler also coming out here from Thang Long, and uh, I do notice he's uh, putting down more Thans immediately, trying to get as many of those uh, points as possible for himself. Khmer did manage to chop one of his uh, general projects or finish one of his general projects. Let's see if he chops another one. Oh, oh, he did actually chop, he chopped the rainforest, he did actually chop. And it, oh oh wait vietnam vietnam needs a project or wait vietnam is yeah vietnam needs a project like vietnam right now needs a project if uh, if not khmer they're gonna give khmer his um his encampment thing uh, his uh how to say his general well i guess they're gonna give it to him anyway oh wait a second persia doesn't have a general either oh really he doesn't have a general no yeah he doesn't because he never made the project so it is what it is he's gonna be late on this very late on this and maybe that's the reason they don't want to actually um how to say um war from the beginning he still has a lot of stuff to do here it's unbelievable man is i mean don't get me wrong having pyramids in all cases it's good but this is unbelievably greedy to get it uh right in the face of your opponent i mean it's good that at least the two versus one here but oh my god this this feels so greedy to me am i the only one thinking this now why is uh, Traki you uh, all fresh water good evening sir that's a very good question i have no idea i guess it's all for the placement of the um, uh, i would say the thans and he's getting the housing anyway from the barracks and stuff like that and to see commercials commercial got put down another of one of these campuses and floppy is on 20 science with 39 culture at the moment 50 production points 
well, we'll see. We'll see how this uh, is going to go forward. Uh, Poland on the west side. We do have uh, Apology with uh, monuments coming out. More builders. He's uh, getting his uh, 45 faith a turn. Definitely double the numbers after Jaffer. One of the seventh is benefiting from right now. He did also build the hanging gardens for the extra growth in his empire. 15% in each city is quite a lot. Not to mention you do get the extra housing in the cities hit by um, hanging gardens. We do have uh, Theater Square coming out from Gesno. Usually with uh, Poland, you do want to go through the culture tree much faster to get to Reform Church. So you can open up uh, those um, uh, those uh, Wing Hussars. We do need to see uh, Apology here getting not only more cities, but also getting his army to pressure Khmer and keep him off uh, his uh, game there. It looks like uh, Firsos just figured out that Persia put a city right in the face of him and we do need to see if uh, he's actually going to do something about it. If he's going to keep on moving to the west end to settle that city or is he going to try to go somewhere else? He definitely has um, quite a conundrum in front of him. Now we do also see... I would say, yeah, Petit Pascal with Nader Shah on the west side going for the pyramids in three turns, getting in camel training projects in uh, two. And uh, by the looks of it, he's getting his horses out from the back series, from back three. Well, he already finished his um, campus, a plus four campus and one of these commercials. 21 science and 34 culture from the beginning versus Firsus is 12 and 20. He does have uh, also 68 production points versus Firsus is 47. Even if we take into account the faith, it looks like uh, Petit Pascal is uh, much better um, equipped over here with the production to go towards those uh, military units. He also has, got, well, he does have Goddess of the Hunt for the extra gold and he's already on 58 gold per turn, actually making the most in the game right now. And yeah, there we go. No fear. No fear. Firsos is just going to get that city in the face of uh, danger here in the face of Persia. Well, we got a horse coming out next time from Angor Tom. He definitely has quite a few more jobs to go for. We do see Prasats also coming out. That's going to be more production available for him to use uh, in he, from his uh, holy sites. That also means he went, uh, he went bottom three actually in the civic, right? He went uh, drama and poetry and then into uh, theology. Oof. That's going to open up so many so many um districts oops it is what it is anyway uh pingala establishing in lublin i do notice we got settlers moving around uh, three tens for stone h2 come out from krakow that will give him uh, an extra belief there quite valuable especially for poland but he does need to get to his uh, temples to build them uh, to uh, get access to a second slot for his uh, relics uh, it looks like also we got uh, Vietnam getting pushed back. Those units that we saw um, jumping around the east side actually managed to go all the way around this coast and uh, come back towards France. Looks like France was uh, sending a settler next to the volcano of Terra. And I do notice Marseille. What? what is this city? Oh my god, he got a city right in the face of Vietnam. I, I don't know if he could have done it. If Even if he wanted to, he couldn't done this, man. Look at this. Look at the city of Marseille, right in the face of Floppy. Unbelievable. Anyway, we got more settlers coming around here. And of course, uh, T-Tube is going to want to get as many cities out with a sister hall as possible. Getting those to pop those uh, builders, improve the tiles quickly, and um, maybe get some units against uh, Vietnam, his next door neighbor. We do have uh, some uh, ponies coming out from Floppy Flongi. And he started actually protesting the food in Hualu, not uh, production from, the, from those mines. Interesting. Pingala establishing in Trakiu. He does have a decent amount of science and culture, especially against T-Tube's uh, 13 and 34. I'm pretty sure T-Tube would require some more of uh, these campuses. And I do notice his Gavro Plaza is placed in such a way that he's going to give bonus to a campus here. Actually, from Marseille and from Paris, uh, both of those cities are going to have good campuses. But he needs to, fu uh, to fix this um, uh, housing situation in the capital city. It's uh, stuck on 5 pop and it's not growing. Okay, we got a general picked up by Khmer. I think uh, we already have Persia losing his general. Yeah, he lost his general. He doesn't have a general anymore. Poland picked one. Khmer picked two of them. Khmer actually picked two of them. And the Vietnam got one. So basically, they denied the Persia his uh, general here. Well, we do need to see um, what's going to happen, how hard Poland will actually push uh, from the east side and make use of uh, his warfare. And uh, I do have to say, for Khmer, it's amazing to have defense plus five on the left and on the right as well. Uh, chop, chop, chop. Exactly. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, does Gavel Plaza affect the unlocked uh, district count? Yes. Yes, it does.
how important is Inkyaman Triangle for uh, Vietnam? Very important most of the time, but I do believe the players uh, think um, uh, too much culture at the beginning is also to its detriment. Opening up the Civic 3 too fast is uh, gonna slow it down with the district discounts. That's the problem. Or unless you have a significant, like a good tempo to place all of those uh, cities, get the set result, have placements, have the movement speed, and uh, have the um, timing to go there, uh, you're gonna end up with uh, quite a bit of a problem if you go too high in culture. We got Pingala in two turns in track U. I do see he's one turning a commercial here from uh, Hualu and Floppy Flongi is hitting his discounts. And one turning a commercial is quite big. We do have uh, also Poland uh, getting new builders. Built, actually. He built new builders. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway. Uh, from the west side, we do need to see how fast uh, Persia can actually get his Immortals, or if he does want to get Immortals. He's going for uh, Warlord's Throne in three turns from Mashad. He did put down his Peridesa. We're going to improve his Iron Tile next turn, and I do see he already has a few horses that he's sending towards the city of Hangmatana. That city is getting already under attack by Khmer with one horse and one general lagging behind. We do need to see uh, when when these units are gonna get uh, right in front of that horse to stop him and i'm pretty sure he needs to save his archer this is quite important to keep uh, alive well uh, he did manage to chop his wall of and now uh, putting more projects into the encampments it looks like he's uh, gonna have a general of the next era medieval renaissance one which he will give him bonuses towards those uh, expos or knights or uh, coursers uh, men at arms but not immortals and that is gonna be an issue we do have him uh, also getting the first immortal here and it looks like he did choose to sacrifice the uh, archer for the extra strength that city will have he doesn't know how many units his opponent will get to bear against him and he definitely wants to uh, secure his defense there he's also getting converted by Khmer like really quickly he's getting converted anyway uh, let's uh, take a look at Tokugawa getting a city to the south, Shizuoka, actually interesting placement, he's putting the harbor right next to those uh, reef tiles and yes we do have that lol uh, right next to him for the extra science and gold, 12 turning uh, harbor, that sounds like a long time, did manage to get the science from the coast, Josie with a pen brush and voice uh, Moksha in the city of Takamatsu and the library is going into that plus 4 campus he has here. That's going to be quite nice. It's going to turn into a plus 5. Now we do have another campus in Tokyo. That's going to be another plus 4. Looks like Nagano going for commercials here. And putting down a holy site from Nagoya. Interesting. So early on. And I do see Governor Pingala is establishing in Nagoya, but he doesn't have a very good campus there. Interesting position of or use of uh, the governors. I guess it is, um, we didn't really min-max these. It is what it is. Definitely, I would believe uh, Pingala is much better in Takamatsu and uh, Moksha is much better in Nagoya or Nagano or any other city other than this one with a, a very good campus. Now, uh, we do have also on the other side, Pompilide with uh, multiple builders coming around. I do see he's getting his libraries done and the two, four, six cities got placed down with uh, Ancestral Hall. We do definitely need to see him uh, scout his coast because at the moment he doesn't know about those boats coming from the north unless uh, France managed to get an eye on them. He still didn't chop everything in Tokyo. He's getting slowly there and we do have uh, him uh, choosing to go for the feudalism builders first. Makes sense. He's on... Um, 26 science and 37 culture does look like he needs a little bit more science but it should be fine he's getting those libraries in and uh, he also has a pretty decent campuses a plus four there another plus uh, two over here he has another oh look at this beautiful plus seven in the capital with another from Otsu a plus four this is this is beautiful um wish japan has an advantage in the possible naval war if uh, there is any uh in the possible naval war i would say uh, popular will have the advantage he does get the next up plus five on the coastal tiles right while i believe tokugawa does not if i remember correctly it's like divine wind or something uh, bonus tokugawa gets the trade routes and yes he doesn't get that japan gets all district bonus and yeah there we go hojo takumim gets his land units receive plus five and coastal naval units receive plus five combat strength in shallow water tiles also quite a few bonuses on holy sites theater squares in camons and so on that's uh, quite a bit more than tokugawa but i gotta say it kind of balances out with the trade routes on tokugawa you know you got a lot of food and production on those 
Uh, did we check CS? No, we didn't. We need to check CS. Also, think Persia can get to Knights fast. Uh, yeah, and we, uh, there is already quite a simmering conflict happening here. It looks like um, Firsos is getting those uh, units right next to the cities of Persia. One of the Immortals, the first Immortal, has died. I guess he put his name to the test and uh, the test was negative. Negative. Well, we do have a few more swordsmen coming around. As well, like uh, Persia is taking this a bit too lightly and he's uh, definitely angering a Khmer right next to him we don't really have anybody pushing from the east apology even if he does have a general secured he cannot push in easily with only two horses he would need a lot more and with uh, one tile chokes defending these it does seem like uh, he's gonna have a hard time well this is a problem this is actually quite a problem for Petit Pascal quite a problem Mm, yeah, definitely he needs a lot of immortals and he needed them like yesterday good thing is of course he did get uh, temple of artemis wait he got temple of artemis and that city is still six pop this is a housing problem isn't it? no how how would he have a housing problem with temple of artemis is he working so many one three tiles that he's not getting his food oh my god he definitely needs a lot more food but man temple of artemis should have actually uh helped out anyway this is weird maybe he's uh he clicked on the production tile and doesn't have enough food anymore or something like how many times one two three at least three tiles are with one food here uh, well basically may might make sense the temple of artemis just uh, doesn't make up for uh, all of the lack of food it is what it is um oh Kumer has crusade that's actually uh quite an interesting uh, question here let's see the, did he manage to get crusade no he still didn't manage he didn't uh, get it he, he got uh, the other one the 30 percent spread i don't think you can put both can you like crusade and the 30 percent spread uh Toa gives less uh, housing now i mean sure it's three instead of four but that still would put him uh, more than uh, seven housing or eight housing over here in mashad Whoa, chopping a ship for a seventh uh, population so he can put down an encampment probably? Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's uh, looking for an encampment spot right now. Uh, no, theater square spot. Okay, he wants the culture. Interesting. Well, Petit Pascal, 24 science, 39 culture at the moment. We do have him going against Firsos' 16 and 27. While Firsos does have the bigger bank, we do need to see if uh, he's also going to manage to use that bigger bank to uh, get at Persia and manage to break his defense in Hangwatana. Uh, I'm pretty sure he cannot easily hit the city of Hangwatana, nor can he put it under siege. It is because of this uh, lake over here that's... Uh, gonna cause issues now we do have uh, prasats coming out from multiple uh, cities of um, Khmer he's also gonna get uh, finally Pingala establishing Hariharalaya where he will also have uh, campus spots interesting again position I would have thought his campus spot is gonna be around here somewhere but it looks like he chose the other way around well, we do have uh, theater squares, some more theater squares coming up from Apology, getting his amphitheaters and uh, some campuses. Uh, Gensno is uh, going to get this uh, plus one campus. Yeah, plus one campus. And of course, with Magnus there, he did manage to choke quite a few tiles. Another in in Bitcoin. And I do notice uh, Radom is going to finish a commercial. He's trying to see what's going on here in uh, Khmerian defense and see if he has a way of uh, pushing into Khmer and forcing him to deploy more units on the east rather than the west. Well, looking at uh, also Josie on the coast, he probably did manage to meet, there we go, Japan on the coast. And uh, now these galleys of Japan are going to have the 34 strength extra against the galleys of his opponent. But I do see a bit of a difference here. One is in oligarchy, the other one is not. And I do want to ask, does Josie have oligarchic legacy? Well, he's in oligarchy right now. Okay, does Pompey have oligarchic legacy? He does. He does. He was careful enough to get it. First went into oligarchy, finished the specializing building of choice, got oligarchy legacy, then switched back to a classic republic so he can actually get the extra amenity on his cities and uh, allow his cities to uh, reach the plus three or maybe even more. But it looks like he can't even right now get there, unfortunately. He can't get there right now. It is what it is. 
Well, looking at uh, also his sim, 246 cities, uh, he's getting a wave of galleys. Can actually use all three, uh, the three cities on the east side to get those. And he's going to finish off uh, the Japanese uh, galleys quite quickly. While he's also going to need to figure out how Japan got there. We do uh, have the time ticking down until the next era. We got eight more turns to go until the next era. And we're going to need to see how this war is going to evolve. And also how many of those era score points are they going to manage to acquire to keep their bonuses. Or even try to delay their bonuses bonuses so they can actually get uh, dark age it's not unheard of to see players uh, trying to delay that for a uh, dark age uh, taruga actually wait taruga Ooga. we got taruga over here looks like he's being very nasty to floppy he doesn't i i don't know why but he doesn't like floppy and i do see a uh, tiritz already is there with a uh, with um, Amani is trying to set the tone for the game doing some diplomacy behind the scenes uh, pitting these units of Taruga against the units of uh, oh my god look at that man they're just uh, adding insult to injury attacking warriors against horses really Anyway, that's going to eat a little bit at his uh, tempo. And of course, we do need to see Pompey get uh, quite a few more units to pluck all of his chokes. While I do notice uh, Titiu, but the moment did not put one of his uh, encampments down, he's uh, starting to put down his campuses, which is going to help out quite a bit. And I do think Taruga is lost. Taruga is going to be a floppian city. Yeah, definitely Floppian City. Now, I do see Cantho also got placed next to Lake Sanfonienga, where he does have... Well, he doesn't even want to use these tiles, right? No production points on them. Kind of bad, kind of meh. Uh, Babylon. Babylon bonus. Ooh, Colosseum opener here from Tiritz. 1044. 47, 47 Colosseum in two turns he's gonna get it doesn't have any more chops definitely a lot of production in the city of Mari with 34 points yeah, you know, Palgums coming out everywhere I'm actually quite surprised he did get the Palgum right now in the build queues and not before well he's on two fourths five cities he's gonna get his sixth one soon and probably he's gonna be on that marble tile marble or next uh, yeah marble he can't get north is what it is okay uh, poland trying to figure out what's the deal in the south he's also managing to get a discount on the commercial while he's getting a next wave of uh, temples he's gonna have the ability to get that second relic he's uh, right now on 72 faith at 10 while Khmer is only on 49 and i do see the economy is starting to be negative here for Firsos minus nine while i don't really see a massive amount of gold being um, generated by fdlv 29 33 22 uh, while um, Firsos is gonna lag behind with his minus nine uh, with more war units appearing from Persia, he's gonna get the ability to start shooting with the immortals acquiring more of those um, experience points and the next wave is gonna be knights soon petit pascal is discovering um steer ups in three turns steer ups three turns mercenaries two turns and it looks like Firsos is barely getting his apprenticeship in two and uh, discovering civil service in four while uh, Firsos is on 25 science we do have petit pascal on 27 it's more a matter of choice te of technology rather than a difference in uh, how much science is acquired uh Uze 325 good evening sir exclamation mark dlc we are playing with all of the dlcs and extra content from civil uh, from uh, paraxis we also are playing with quite a few mods uh you can check out the mods uh, on uh, the cpl.gg website or if you are taking a look at uh, my youtube where the, uh, there is also a live stream there you can take a look at the um, video information down below and you're gonna have the links with explanatory like uh, videos for each of the mods that we're using I didn't get one from Battle Balance map, but it's not really yet uh, that used in the tournaments. But I'm going to cover it if it's going to be adopted in uh, the tournaments. Yeah, with my pleasure, sir. Also, uh, what's the military score looking like? All triangle. Good evening, good evening, sir. Uh, let's see. Military score. We got the uh, Firso 363 and uh, Pedit Pascal is 374. They're kind of matching their uh, strength here. I don't have to say these aren't that many knights here and pre-built knights. He has only four of them, uh, five of them. And I do see quite a few horses all, also coming around. Um, ancient walls against uh, Khmer is not usually a good thing to do because Domre is to go through ancient walls like their butter. And uh, I'm pretty sure at some point Firsos is going to get... Uh, 
those dominates to uh, flex against his opponent um, we do have for uh, petit pascal actually managing to get uh, the drop on javerman if uh, he's upgrading in the next three turns we do need to see if uh, kumer is going to manage to counter this properly oh petit pascal can actually step on the general and push it back leaving firsos without the general there we go he just did one of his units is also oh kill it oh my god he can't kill it that guy is not dying man that guy is just not dying he's refusing it's fine okay three more hits two more hits against the horse he's pushing it back getting a promotion and i do see mortals are coming through the forest i do need to see also how many points for the generals does he have he didn't ma manage to get those uh, general points did he no he didn't he did also so let's see france did manage to get uh zankian for the extra trade out capacity nobody picked up uh, hypatia it's not here they're passing on the scientist i do hear a lot of chum, 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 chum. like who is upgrading what who is promoting what what is going on and what where is it going on okay we got babylon here getting oh i think he bought builders or something yeah yeah he bought builders that's why i was hearing the ping ping anyway we got uh, also josie getting his markets out for the extra trade routes i do see he's getting a few of these uh, people galleys he's two turns off from cartography while we do have uh, wait pompey's getting iron working well i guess he does have quite a few galleys of his own will he have the science to get there 71 science yes 48 culture Ooh, he's actually keeping up with josie quite nicely here of course more culture coming out from those traders for josie but still is good uh we do have them with a major discrepancy when it comes to the gold per ton. 100 gold per ton on josie only 21 on japan we do need to see if they're going to manage to get enough gold uh, to upgrade their boats caravels that's going to require a lot a lot a lot of gold it's 90 a pop can you imagine 90 a pop Anyway, uh, Taruga looks like uh, he got out for a little while. We do have uh, horses from Vietnam that need to get in there and be uh, very, very close up and personal with that city center. We do have uh, Thans also getting ready in Hue. And I do notice uh, T-Tube is uh, getting those units on the west of Marseille here. To uh, try to slow down Vietnam as much as he can. Let's see the first moves. We got... Okay, looks like the swordsman got a got out alive uh, both horses actually got out alive and i do notice the general still did not move he's gonna take out one of the horses of persia while well, uh, we do have the wall of knights getting ready in the city of hamatana and also in the city of hamatana we actually have an actual war ancient wall uh two turns for an encampment training project in tushpa he does have a builder to chop it five charge on it and he's gonna get the mine afterwards he does need two general projects if he wants to recruit timur at least two general projects it might be uh, quite a few more turns and this is a problem because poland and vietnam are getting quite close like vietnam will probably not pass here no he can pass oh both of them can pass both vietnam and poland can pass actually right anyway, this not, might not be that big of an issue as i thought yeah, it's not going to be that big of an issue. Uh, looking at the city states, we do have Bandar Burnaika, Hokia, and Muscatin. Yes, I know it took me a long time. I just reminded myself. Uh, we do have uh, Kad with Engasargamo for military. Looks like Erevan and Laventa for the religious bonuses. Bologna and Taruga are both going to give uh, science bonuses. And it looks like Apology is keeping Bologna and Tirits is keeping Taruga. They're having an eye on both of these. And we're going to need to see if they're going to manage to keep them until the end of the game. I would say also for the culture being kept by Firsos, we got Mexico city for the production cues uh, for the production um, screen there bonuses uh wait wait why no sound wait nuclear la oh oh yeah uh round one fight yeah I i'm sorry i'm sorry about the sound uh can you uh, can you give uh, the points back cisco please yeah no no they're not they're not, they're not connected yet i need to get the connection on the obs i didn't connect this thank you bold bear also good evening sir and welcome okay let's see what's going on here it does seem like a push i did manage to get the bigger units here or i should say the more units uh, we do need to see if he's uh, going to get the op that opportunity to keep on pushing. Looks like he's moving from the north to the south and upgrading his knights uh, right now. He's going to have uh, definitely stronger units to go against the Khmer here soon. And, but only five of them will get upgraded or I should say we did get pre-built. He's going to hard build the other ones, getting in camel training projects. Another one. And uh, it looks like, yeah, there we go. Did they pass for him? No, they got, they both picked it. Timur and uh, Sid. Well, Sid. 
man okay it is what it is place just gonna just need one more project you now we do have also Khmer getting a few more of these uh, swordsmen and looking at his uh, tech side he's going for construction with divine right coming up in three tens for him uh, Pili, uh getting some um, chops on the copper to get the gold and i do notice he's not that scared about the east side that much he does have a general there to help him out while uh, it does look like his next door neighbor babylon here is just seeming to win now Colosseum coming out from Babylon cities with high population he's uh, still having a hard time keeping his uh, people happy we only have uh, plus threes activated in some of his cities but not really in the capital where he definitely would have used it and we do have uh, more markets aqueduct placements here for Babylon interesting position couldn't he have got it here it was oh, oh okay oh I see he wants the 3-3 three, three mine more than he wants uh, the um, okay it is what it is yeah, Josie is gonna get his uh, cartography next turn. That means uh, caravels are gonna be appearing here he doesn't have a lot of gold but i do see uh, coupled with his teammates he's gonna have a decent amount we do have samurais coming out from kyoto and i'm pretty sure this is uh, because he's gonna need to get uh, those um, era score points we do have uh, japan here 41 out of 41 and he needs 52 points 11 more points in the next two turns to get there well he's definitely gonna chop a samurai we do have him with master in next turn and divine right coming up in three turns oh no is it gonna be enough i think he's gonna finish next turn right yeah it's gonna finish next turn he's gonna finish it next turn uh tdb is gonna give him the i would say the boost for it it's fine it's fine it's fine okay well uh still not up there yet still not enough boats still he has to get and if he doesn't get this by the way if he if he's allowing his opponent to upgrade his caravels and he doesn't get enough pre-builds he even with the plus five on the coast he might be um overwhelmed uh, what's with the admirals i don't see any admiral did they oh they locked them i see but that also exposes them right we might actually see Khmer or um, who's the other one with faith Khmer pick it up i guess Khmer pick it up oh well this is what it is but thank you thank you cisco Riot, riot. oh my god yes oh my god this is the first time i actually see uh the two uh, uh the two emotes combined <laughs> yeah i mean yeah okay in camon training projects coming out another one next turn he does have a chop he does need to uh, switch it to on the city of tushpa and i do see he's getting some more of these uh, commercials for the trade routes let's uh, take a look at all of their points here oh he did just manage to get uh ethelfred free pretty good pretty good now he can two tap the horses of Khmer without any issues Firsos is 10 turns away from getting castles that's a long time that's a very long time to get castles like castles are the next tier units of upgrades for these horses they can upgrade into courses making them much stronger basically at the same strength of uh, knights very very close uh, difference between them but 10 turns that's gonna be an eternity for him did he finish it no no he didn't anyway era score uh one more point for tq we got pompili there four more we needing four more points and it looks like he's gonna get that monarchy no he did get more wait what oh he's gonna get it this turn right yeah he's gonna get it this turn okay uh he has sources he's probably gonna take down mexico city for another city center and did manage to get his uh, samurai well we're going to need to see how quickly is he gonna manage to get to cartography because uh, looks like japan is already sending his boats out to him and he's not prepared he is not prepared pompey is basically gonna be you know just waking up in the morning with half of his cities taken down basically what is babylon doing free sim free sim free sim he's free sim he's uh he's gonna put more cities down and look i do see him going for the science and for the commercials for the extra gold that he could give to his teammates and of course with pompey in danger he will have a problem uh, uh, tiris does have the best production in the game by the way 149 points right now uh, he did also manage to secure his golden age while i do see poppy still needs two more points to get the golden age well maybe he can uh, sue the city state or something uh Firsos did manage to secure his golden age he's also getting uh, uh, significantly pushed over here in compong Sfai. Uh, also josie secured his golden age we got floppy securing his golden age apology securing his golden age petit pascal securing his golden age we do have uh, 
Also, by the way, Pompey did manage to get uh, his Golden Age also. Everybody, everybody in the Casa Mare did manage to get their uh, Golden Age. And if you guys are wondering what Casa Mare is, it's a big house. It was actually, what was it? It was uh, whoa, 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 a Moldavian song or something, right? Everybody in the Casa Mare or something. That was like 15 years ago, 20 years ago. <laughs> the same, wasn't the same guys that did Dragosta in Tay or something? Anyway, yeah, uh, don't bet against Tokugawa. Yeah, that is so true. Do not, do not bet against Tokugawa. Let's see, boats coming around. Pompey is uh, going engineering in one turn. Looks like uh, the damage counter is definitely favoring the cannibals over these galleys. And uh, we do need to see how quickly he can actually get to those um, cartography texts to the cannibal technology. Yes, he's getting the boats. Is he going to have what to improve though? Into what to improve. Well, we got uh, also Poland trying to see what's uh, the happening here with Babylonian defenses. We're also going to have a pause after this uh, turn because we're going to have the World Congress. So for two minutes, uh, we're going to wait for them to, to get their choices on the board. Okay, looking at Tokugawa, next wave is gonna be uh, frigates, he's already getting those, okay, and uh, let's actually take a look, they probably will have niter needs here, I do notice that it's already making niter, but he's the only one in the game that did manage to discover military uh, blah, 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 engineering, military engineering, uh, we do have Pedro Pascal and Apology going for it, I guess, and the uh, floppy flungy is very close to it anyway. Well, let's see if they're all, they're all three gonna go towards it. Uh, Josie also getting exploration in two. That will allow him to put the press gangs card in. He does have 108 production to flex. And of course, it's, uh, you know, just one single point over Pompey's uh, production here. In the next... Um Era, we do have Pembrush and Voice on Catherine de Medici, 50 Science, 58 Culture, a lot of gold generation. Hojo is uh, golden age, but he didn't pick something yet, and I'm pretty sure he's thinking about that free inquiry. Uh, but I do have to say, Josie did pick up uh, his free inquiry already, and he does have a significant uh, how to say, he does have the same science number as Pompey does here. Wait, is this actually a bug here? We don't see it, but he has it. Anyway, it might be. Now, uh, Tiris 46, Science 61, Culture, Pen, Brush and Voice, Golden Age. We got Khmer, Drums of War this time around. He's uh, feeling uh, def he definitely needs more production towards military units. And uh, well, we'll see what's going to happen. Only 24 Science and 35 Culture is not that big. Josie, 90 Science, 41 Culture, in free Inquiry. Floppy did go for Drums of War. He's also going to gear up for uh, Warfare here against his opponent, Killing Taruga. Uh, Apology, 60 Science. 117 culture he's gonna hit his um, reform change quite soon and this is where the cookie crumbles let's uh, let's go let's go okay two minutes is a pause I'm gonna communicate here with uh, Paul hello map uh, I go B you what was it recon you I think it was recon no yeah yeah it is recon okay in the back two minutes do they have gold to up the boats let's see yeah
Oh, ok. Oh my God. Sorry. Uh, got distracted. Phone messages. Athena went surgery. Stuff like that. Anyway. Uh, Taruga being taken out by uh, Floppy Flongy. That's going to give him an extra city to use. And I do notice Floppy is um, only 46 science and 60 culture. I would have expected a lot more. And of course, Apollo is getting extremely big next to him. We do need to see. Well, uh, next to him on the west side. He's an ally. We're going to need to see if uh, Apollo is. Um, Jump for culture is going to give him that uh, nice advantage. Oh, 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 reform change next turn. Reform change next turn for apology. And he's starting to get knights out for those uh, wing hussars. Yeah, we do have Babylon starting to get his uh, spearmen so he can uh, defend. But of course, spearmen are not enough. Pikemen are definitely going to be enough. Pompey is in trouble. Pompey is in real trouble. Yes. We do have uh, these caravels about to start hitting and I do see Pompey is going to get his cartography next turn while he's uh, five turns away from discovering exploration so he can get his press gangs. He's now working his uh, maritime industries card for the quadrant pre-builds and of course uh, for the frigate pre-builds and uh, we do have a big line of units coming up from uh, the other Japan. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, on this side we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 13, okay, 13 bolts, okay, they're, I guess they're very close to each other in numbers, I do have to point out Pompey will have the advantage on the coast with an extra plus 5 on these boats, while Japan, the other Japan, uh, Josie, will probably need to um, uh, try to stay in the dark water tiles, in the uh, deep water tiles. Uh, looking at the Congress, we do have Apology, not growing via culture, heavy calves, oh, they got the plus five on the wing hussars. This is going to be amazing. Uh, two diplomatic victory points. Hammurabi Tirith. Um, the all age old debate is over. Tokugawa is better. <laughs> I mean, man, the business mind is just made up. You can't make me. Yeah, you can't make me think of anything else. No, 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 no. Tokugawa, best ship in the world. Let's go. I mean, it's definitely strong. It's definitely strong. Let's see. Uh, we do have some initial hits here. It looks like... Uh, very innocent archer that was just standing there he was fishing got taken out by the monster next to the doorstep of uh, hojo tokimun <laughs> we do have uh, quite a few of those uh, caravels getting upgraded getting the gold from his teammates pompey did manage to put it down on the table i do have to say he did also choose to go for penbrush and voice which yes will give him a bit of an advantage when it comes to the culture but he's gonna have uh, significantly less uh, science than tokugawa with 148 science tokugawa could keep going towards uh, ironclads and leave his opponent behind here they still did not open up uh, admirals oh did i just see them pop no no he just kept on upgrading his uh, caravels not admirals got it uh wing hussars about to slap yes yes wing hussars already coming out of the cities of uh, poland here we do have them going towards the south by the looks of it and he did manage to finish his grandmaster's chapel in the government plaza so he has the ability to use that 126 faith he's making to buy all these uh, wing hussars they are prioritizing actually giving the point uh, giving the gold to uh, his allies uh, so he, they can get the upgrades and now now he's actually getting the gold there we go okay let's see the damage 86 win unit against the spearman 52 and that's across the river oh my that's uh that's quite a problem we do have uh, Perit Pascal pushing into the city of uh, Vimayapura and I do see him also pushing into Kompongsvai. Doesn't really have uh, siege units to take down those uh, walls and of course we do see that Firsos is uh, still pulling units to defend himself. Getting his Grandmaster Chapel in four turns while Castles is coming out next and he's going to need quite a bit of gold to upgrade his units and that's something they just don't have in their coffers. They gave everything they could to Pompey so they can secure the coast here and of course the two Japan starting to fight each other will put quite a bit of toll on their economy now we do have pompey with 30 gold a turn right now just lost one of his uh pre-builds i think that was a pre was that a pre-build i think it was a pre-build i didn't actually see what was there um blah, 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 blah. uh cool wait i did i did say wait i did say what was the congress and yes i do definitely admire the passion man Sometimes I do forget, I'm sorry. I get caught up with uh, other details in my mind. There's uh, other stuff going on. It is what it is. I'm sorry. I'm just a human. Even though some called me a computer, I'm, uh, I'm still human. No, no, no robot here. Still human. Woman. Anyway, now it looks like uh, also Babylon sent a horse to the cities of Japan. Josie is getting a plunder here. We do have him uh, with an exposed 
campus and a commercial. Well, I do notice we got quite a few quadrims coming around. We do need to see if uh, he's going to manage to get frigates. And second of all, if he's going to manage to get that niter. We do have Floppy, Apology, and Petit Pascal. All three of them making niter. One on the other side, Tirits is the one getting so much in his um, coffers here, in his uh, storage. 27 right now. Getting Intelligence Agency. Going to try to smash through the Babylonian defenses. And oh my god, this uh, crossbow doesn't know what's uh, going to hit him. And wait, this is not a good general, right? This is oh, it is a good general. This is Timon. This is a good general for it. Noise. Wow, that is very nice. And it looks like also Perit Pascal did not manage to take out that horse before it became a courser. And that is gonna slow his attack down quite a bit. We do need to see how he's gonna follow up with uh, units. And I do have to say he has a much better opening when it comes to the later part of the, the game, securing his um, development of the empire here over uh, Khmer. Khmer did also use his uh, faith for them to try to buy out some of the settlers, and you do see he did manage to get to two, four, six. Two, four, six, seven cities. While well, we do have Nader Shaw on two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, eight cities. Now we do have um, quite a bit of a production difference. No, no. Actually, Firsos did manage to get to the production uh, higher than Petit Pascal. Uh, coupled with his uh, faith, he's making more than uh, Petit Pascal. But yes, he can't use the faith anymore, can he? In three turns, he's going to manage to get that going. Anyway, uh, Babylon Horse doing pillage economy on Tokugawa. Yes. Well, he only did manage to get a bit of health from the wheat tile. And it looks like the Japanese warrior is giving his life to hold the tile. Hold the, the tile. Wait, Japan beating Japan. Who would have known? The Bisley, what's going on? Looks like Tokugawa is getting quite a bit hit over here in the, in the face. Another one of those caravels went down. And looks like Pompilide is uh, hunting for the next ones. He might actually get to hit another one. No, no, that actually went away. He, uh, well, hesitated and that's it. Now, we do need to see what's going to happen with the frigates coming around. Pompey is uh, four turns off from getting square rigging. While uh, he does have a decent amount of uh, quadrims already pre-built, four of them. And we uh, will need to see him also using his Prex gang soon. He is not switching yet from Monarchy, but we might actually get it soon. We do have Industrial Zones actually being put down by Japan. Uh, Tokugawa is getting plus twos here. Oh man, these are like terrible Industrial Zones. Like plus three Industrial Zone. Interesting. Terrible. And wait, is this a Diplo Quarter in the capital city of Tokyo for the extra food and production that you get on all of your trade routes? Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Just maxing out those Tokugawa traders everywhere. I see how it is. Let's see on uh, Poland. Winker starts coming around. They're going to start knocking on the doorstep of uh, Tirits here. They just need to move on to that tile. And it looks like uh, they will get to move last uh, second here. Uh, by the looks of it, he's also trying to push in towards the north of Karkar. Doing a distraction there with uh, the scout and the horse. While uh, he might just uh, push in through Firsonian uh, swordsman without that much issue. Look at that uh, swordsman basically dying to the Winker Okay. Trebuchet got bought. We do have him with the ability to use that faith button to buy up stuff. He only has 151 in the bank though. 159 production. Okay, how many boats are remaining here? Two more boats on the west. 4, 6, 8, 9 versus Japan's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 boats. Okay, it's, well, I guess he did have one boat as an advantage anyway. Looks like uh, they just um, traded boats here. I think they got an advantage. <gasps> That's the first uh, admiral. Who got the admirals? Wait. What? What? Okay. So Japan just got one. So Khmer opened it up. Japan, that's uh, Hojo, picked another one. And looks like right now they're going through them or they keep on passing. Oh, the Tokugawa. Josie is actually passing this Zenki. He doesn't want the free trader. Interesting. But that will also mean somebody needs to pick it up. If uh, Japan passes again, wait, this is risky. Uh, Babylon is definitely not going to help him out on this one. Wait, he's going to pass on this also, right? Yeah, he needs to pass on this. Wait, he picked it? Yeah, he picked it. Okay, never mind. He actually picked it. Uh, okay, we have another merchant here for the Persia. We did have uh, Catherine de Medici getting uh, the free trader Persia. Um, Merchant and I do see Hypatia has been picked up by uh, Japan there. 
Uh, is it safe to say that the sharks are ahead? I would say yes. At the moment, yes. Uh, it, it does seem like uh, T-Tube is going to have uh, quite a road to climb back. And uh, he doesn't have his, uh, grand, uh, his um, continent for his guard imperials. We do have uh, Pology getting into the borders of uh, Karkar. And he's going to start pillaging these tiles. Even if it is, uh, he's going to get his uh, pikemen. I don't really believe the pikemen are going to stop the wing hussars. I've seen it multiple times. Pikemen do die against um, wing hussars, especially if they don't have generals on them. And this time around, guess what? There's no general here. You know, we do have him upgrading some of these uh, swordsmen and yes, getting intelligence agency in his capital. Uh, Babylon horse doing... Oh, I did read that. Sorry. I got... I, yeah, it is what it is, boys. It is what it is. Was a samurai? Is was a plane? Or is was a samurai? Oh, more units from Persia getting uh, close up and personal with uh, Khmer. He's still pushing, he's still pushing, doing the damage with the knights against these uh, Corsairs. And yes, I do see he's uh, bringing up Trebuchet's next uh, so he can hit Kompong's fight much, uh, much easier. He's uh, also managing to do the last moves here to get an advantage, not allowing Firsos to do the counter attacks. While uh, we do have to see P Apology managing to get his units through, he's uh, gonna face these pikemen on the battlefield. And we do see, look at this damage by the way look at the damage the basically the pikeman dies an anti camp unit dies attacking into the wing hassan and can the wing hassan attack oh wait this is a minute arm this is not a pikeman this is just gonna be easy piece that's an 85 strength unit was of religion great general we do have a military advisory resolution plus five you know what he's missing dark age Oh my god, plus three intel also on Tirids. He's getting everything, man. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Is this happening? Is this gonna be the sharks actually getting to tie SPA? Okay, we got uh, Pompili there pushing back uh, Josie to his uh, borders. And of course, I do see the frigates have started upgrading here. This is going to make it a little bit easier to push back uh, and uh, stop any kind of push from Japan. While I'm pretty sure Japan is going to need to follow up. We do need to see how fast Japan... Um, Tokugawa will manage to get uh, one single um, caravel out from his cities. We don't know yet with press gangs how quickly he can actually build uh, his uh, caravels. And this is going to matter quite a bit because in the next part, I'm pretty sure he's going to need quite a few hard builds to stop Japan here from, uh, to stop Hojo, his uh, brother from another mother, from uh, taking him down. Okay, first trebuchet on the way towards the Kong Pong's Vai to hit the walls. We do have uh, more victories here for Petrit Pascal's uh, units in the north. And I do see he only has a channel for the northern units, doesn't have one for uh, High Matana. Okay, here, what's going on? What's going on here? More of these Wing Hussars on the way. Looks like uh, he will need to uh, punch back this Corsair. Well, the Corsair can take uh, one of the builders. That's a two chest builder, not worth the life of the Corsair. Okay, we got some last moves here or no? Oh, okay. Yeah, last moves. Oh my god, he got in. He got in and he's just slapping the city of Karkar into submission there. That is a Governor Victor city. Okay, another unit goes down. Two more units go down. Apology getting also some promotions on his uh, Wing Hussars and uh, pillaging more gold from his opponent's city. So he did manage to put the city of Karkar under siege and his Wing Hussars are getting in there to smash his opponents. We do have uh, Petit Pascal also moving into the Fisorian territory with his uh, trebuchet. He's going to start hitting the walls of Kompong's Vai and uh, will need one more turn to actually get uh, two to slap. On the coast... Tokugawa not gonna get defeated easily he has his uh, intelligence agency coming up in two turns more of these squadrons are getting out and of course uh, he's getting his um, uh, caravels to clump up he needs to be careful not to fight in shallow water tiles he did manage to recruit Zenki as an animal so he has his uh, plus five also on his boats but again not fighting in shallow water that what is uh, giving that's what uh, is uh, giving to uh, Pompey the, such an advantage and you can see how Pompey is trying to get in there to um, have the extra plus five on his uh, sh boats from the shallow water tiles 
Wait, didn't they fix the support bonus from units in the water? Or is, are these units just to uh, slow down, I guess, his opponent? Yeah. Uh, pillage economy time. Yes, Pomp is the only hope. Yeah. Nutria, good evening, sir. Welcome, welcome. That damage on the Hussars? Yeah, bro. They're amazing. They are amazing here. More of them coming out. Another spy coming out. Uh, Terracotta army in Lublin. Uh, it does look like he did manage to push back. And I... Oh, my God. Look at the damage it against the Corsair. 85 against the Corsair. 58. Man, he can just flex over there. Look at him angry. And he's just going to fall on one side. We got uh, Poland also with uh, more pillages here. Looks like uh, he might actually get to uh, kill another one of these pikemen soon. No, Dan actually has enough strength. Oh, that's because he's not attacking with uh, a general. No, the pikeman has an extra promotion. What is this? This is the echelon promotion. An extra plus five against um, against cav units. Well, you know, don't get me wrong. He's just not dying in one. He's still dying. It's just a matter of time. Okay, another unit died. He's gonna start uh, attacking into the borders of uh, the city of Karkar. That city did uh, jump up from under siege. And there's no more unit uh, on the other side of the river. Okay. Getting uh, getting more of these uh, wing hussars against uh, Babylon. This is gonna slow down uh, Tirith quite a bit. His economy is not gonna be that good. We do have him on 74 science with 90 culture. It does seem like at the moment Apology is managing to get uh, quite a bit more and I do see winning in production. Ooh, Tirith managed to take down one of the wing hussars with uh, one of his pikemen. I mean, that's a win in my book. We do have uh, Kompong's Vi getting hit and uh, looks like it's just a matter of time until the trebuchets go through the wall defense. There we go. One hit and probably this one will need uh, one more turn to hit. Uh, he's upgrading some of his immortals, promoting them and uh, getting ready to hit that city from multiple sides. There are only swordsmen to the south of that city center. That's uh, relatively easy for him to get through. Well, another wave of units coming out from uh, Petit Pascal's uh, cities. We do have castles discovered next turn and I do see he's preferring to go for more knights that means he's probably gonna follow up with uh, ballistics technology to get his knights into cuirassiers of course uh, first things first over here the, he does need to secure the punch through commerce defenses you know we do have uh, france also still uh, getting some attacks going against vietnam the vietnam doing some attacks going against france neither of them are actually pushing towards each other uh, while uh, france uh, did manage to get an economy of 104 gold points he's on 74 science and 78 culture next to floppies 86 and 90 looks like uh, tdp here is getting a little bit out simmed you know just a little bit just a tiny bit on the top there with a little bit of it is what it is we got uh, some barracks coming up from la rochelle and i do see more campuses uh, are gonna be appearing here so he can get those extra science points definitely there's potential here for t tube is he gonna manage to get that uh, potential working wait how he did he get the city i was on the three pada wasn't this uh, well i guess it yeah japan was kind of far away okay what do we have here gets going against uh, the units of Japan. Pompilide is uh, slowly getting smashed. There's one city that he left out defenseless. He's getting some ancient walls soon in, uh, next turn. And it looks like uh, he did manage to catch one of the caravels of uh, Hojo, oh, of, uh, sorry, of uh, Tokugawa out of position and took it down. There is a possibility for him to counter? Not really. I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe, but still not ideal. These, uh, these units are in shallow water tiles. Two of them going towards Shizuoka. That city looks like it's dead. Unless, unless, actually, Josie puts his big pants on and starts attacking these caravels. We still don't know how fast he's replacing these caravels. This is very important information. How quickly Josie can replace his caravels. He's getting a lot of quadrims, though. A lot. That makes sense. He's uh, getting them much faster than uh, the cannibals. On the other side, we do have uh, Pompey also getting a big wave of uh, frigates with uh, three, four turning cannibals from Otsu. That is kind of slow. That is kind of slow. Getting a spy in two turns. Hmm. Okay, so this is uh, this kind of looks like the push. Uh, okay, we got the uh, frigates coming in. That uh, caravel should be dead. So it's going to be a 1 1 trade here. Or actually a 2-1 trade. Advantage for uh, Josie. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Hmm. 
to be honest it's so much easier for him to pick uh, these guys up like tear these guys up from the deep water than it is to go uh, into these like lo look how quickly he's taking these down anyway it is what it is was going up in shizuoka is going to protect that city a little while longer it's still 47 strength with uh, the carnival strength on it so i would imagine it is going to suffer quite a few hits before it's going to go down uh we do have uh, trebuchet smashing down through comedian defenses compong's vine looks like it's going to be going down whatever happens here we do need to see the first moves because i'm pretty sure Firsos is going to have the opportunity to push some of these units especially the immortal from around him we do uh, need to see if that's going to be enough to uh, stop the attack on compong's vine i doubt it because again that city is uh very low hp very low hp how quickly ballistics uh Urek, no votes on uh, youtube uh i can't get the vote oh sorry that's uh i think i actually didn't get the vote up on twitch either sorry who will win Reditos de la Vega versus uh, D Shark. There we go. Okay, so uh, looks like uh, one of the crossbows got taken, or he, did he move back? I think he moved back. We do have um, the Immortal taken down. The Knight is still alive, and it looks like he's going to take it with uh, another unit there. No, okay, there we go. Replacing the Immortal place while he's getting new pre-builds from his cities. Now, we do have him. Uh, we do have also the two Japan still fighting, and it looks like um, Pompilide is going to bring two of these uh, level 1 cannibals from the north. That is going to help him eat into the frigate line. He can two shot the frigates quite easily, even in deep water that is a problem for Josie even if uh, he does have quite a few new pre-builds for frigates coming out uh, every one of these uh, do count quite a bit he did manage to get the quadrim in shizuoka he does need to upgrade the next turn into a frigate allowing him to shoot back much harder against these uh, japanese boats can they punch through that city in uh, uh no or no he would have needed the full strength once like another three if uh, he wanted to punch through quickly okay uh you did oh thank you so much cisco thank you uh also fight 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 marus automation good evening sir and welcome stats so low for 10 60 yeah i mean mod fights everywhere man mod fights everywhere it is what it is we got uh, france here getting his uh, courses trying to push a little bit into vietnam vietnam countering with his own courses and i do see some voichians uh, making their way here oh Look at the damage of the Void Chen, man. 62 against the Corsas, 55. Oh my god, the Void Chen, bro. He would have, oh man, he would have eaten through the French defenses so easily if he had more Void Chen. Oh my god, yes, get more. More. We do have uh, Kong Pong's Vi. Ooh, that horse actually died, but he still can take the city. Yeah, there we go. He took the city and deleted the city. That's uh, that's quite a problem here for Frisos. Lost quite a few points from the deletion of that city. And of course, uh, faith points alongside uh, the science, the culture. is down to 80 science and 41 culture. While we do have uh, Petit Pascal, 114 and 62. Production capabilities are comparable at the moment. Uh, of course, uh, Frisos having the advantage of that extra uh, faith per turn versus Petit Pascal. Now, we do need to see how quickly Petit Pascal can actually get to his um, ballistics. He's still not going exactly that way he's like stepping off a little bit the line going for siege tactics that's bottom three that's for calves that's not actually for uh, ballistics well in the meantime he is getting uh, quite a few pre-builds here in his cities and he might actually want to get uh, enough so he can secure the victory against Gomer in the next wave of attacks oh my god is that the capital city of babylon taken down oh Oh, I think they underestimated uh, Poland a little bit. Just just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know? Yeah. Yeah. My God, man. That's Gavron Plaza. Poof. Didn't he build an aqueduct earlier? I guess he didn't. Yep. I was, I was sure he had an aqueduct. Wait, maybe Babylon doesn't have the... No, he does. He does have course, of course. Anyway. 
Uh, we, do see, we do have trebuchets uh, starting to attack into Karkar. Another wave of wing hussars uh, getting in there and more trebuchets on the way. Uh, don't see Khmer having any kind of teeth in this fight to push back Poland. And it looks like Apology is managing to get that victory for uh, his side. Another city, Eshuna, has been taken down. Two cities of the Babylonian Empire have been ripped away from the motherland. We do need to see also how Pompey with his uh, 110 uh, science can actually help out to uh, come back into this game. He's still fighting off Japan, uh, fighting off uh, Josie here, and it does seem like Josie is realizing um, that he definitely needs to fight into the dark water tiles. We do have him uh, getting a few hits on his boats, actually dying. You know, one of his other characters did die, while he still needs to get the points uh, going on the other ones. Well, let me see. Damage points. Oh, this is a very nice frigate attack against the cannibals. Two shots and that cannibal is dead. More frigates coming in from uh, Pompey. And it, to be honest, it doesn't look like Hojo will, uh, Hojo will have the upper hand in this fight, at least for a little while longer. We do need to see if uh, Josie's moves are going to be on point but Pompey was quite kind of on point with his own moves there we go another caravel died looks like a Josie sacrificed one for a possible caravel attack another frigate is gonna go down he lost it in the deep seas that captain just went haywire man he went a wall man oh my god he was so confused you see too much vodka we do have uh, over here also Josie getting his next wave of frigates and I'm pretty sure he's gonna guarantee the kill or at least uh, two of these uh, caravels might not make up for uh, the losses he had but at least he's getting some back he's uh, two turning uh, caravels from a uh, few cities and bringing a uh, new quadrims to the fight he definitely needs uh, the stronger units on the front line to keep away the damage points from his uh, frigates and there we oh my god he couldn't even take that caravel down oh that is nasty nasty very nasty i mean he could get this one over here and you know tap it he could he could he definitely could this is problem this is big problem uh, but in the meantime his allies are getting ripped apart here karkar is gonna go down uh, soon it doesn't look like he's gonna have the opportunity to get that city back uh, it doesn't also seem the pikemen are having enough uh, damage against the wing hassans to help him out next turn terracotta army will finish free heals on all of these wing hassans and this is gonna be amazing like th this 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 man uh, okay uh, Petit Pascal now switching towards ballistics, getting metal casting in uh, four tens, enlightenment in two, getting a spy out from Mashad. While he already set a spy in Angor Tom for the extra diplomatic visibility, he does need to get the next tier units to keep on attacking against his opponent here. And we do have uh, Vietnam managing to chew through the defenses of France slowly but surely. He did chop, by the way, look at this strategy. Chopped the rainforest style, got the vision on three boy chains. So basically, you know what happened in reality there? From the, that coarser point of view, he just sees trees going down left and right. And then <laughs> wall of arrows, you know, like he, he got machine gun arrow there. Oh my god, look at T-Tube's Corsairs. He's just bleeding from all over the place. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, Gainful. Yeah, Babylon is getting uh, everywhere. Yeah. Oh my god, look at the Terracotta army bonuses coming out. Karkar is about to be taken down. The Trebuchet is taking quite a bit of a beating here, but it's remaining to... Uh... Oh, never mind. He actually died. Kick. Well, another one takes his place. More shots from the crossbow. More pillages, because why not? And we do have uh, to see if uh, Poland is going to manage to secure this. Um, Poland, I, I do have to say, Babylon here is chopping everything he can so he can try to stay alive. While uh, it does seem Poland is managing to kill off the majority of the units that uh, are coming against him. Not to mention bringing uh, more to the fight. Let's see here. What's going on here? Oh, oh. Josie lost another. Okay, he's losing the boat fight. Hompilite, just superior numbers right now against the boats of Japan. Of, uh, of, uh, how to say, uh, of, uh, Tokugawa. But is this gonna matter though? Is this gonna matter in the long term? Is this gonna matter? Can Japan and Catherine de Medici bring this game back all together? Oof. Yeah, Terracotta Army, bro. Josie making a bigger. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> they basically already uh, changing the tune over here. Uh, when is uh, Josie getting his uh, escape settler? I saw, I, uh, yeah, I think that is a very good uh, strategy for Josie when uh, earlier he was like, Go, oh, Josie, go! <laughs> Let's go, take them down. <laughs> wow, bro. <laughs> This has to be the most one-sided naval war ever, but yeah, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, it, the fact that they're losing Khmer and they're taking down uh, Babylon here, this is the important part, right? They're taking out two civilizations out of the four of their opponents, and uh, I'm pretty sure Tokugawa is still going to remain alive here. Chosi is still going to have these cities on uh, Nagano, for example, on the coast there. He's bringing some more uh, frigates from the south, and uh, we'll see, we'll see. Remember, there was a big mass of units that Japan was pre-building, upgraded, and sent to the front line, while uh, Tokugawa here, uh, well, we'll see if he can manage to uh, withstand. He needs to withstand. And also, he really needs to get good with his moves, as in actually prioritize the units that uh, are the most in danger. I saw him with uh, frigates left alone, yeah, like that. Anyway, that's another figure, like that. Like, those, those should have been shift entered back, basically. Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, it, naval fight is very, very problematic. You have a lot of moves that you can do, and a lot of plays that... Um, well, most of the time you have a lot of um, space that you can uh, move into, or out to, out to, of. And uh, that creates quite a few problems. A lot of things that you need to uh, predict. Okay. Let's see... Oh, I see what's coming out for uh, Khmer. He's going to get some extra science points, more process for the production in his series. He has good enough production. It's uh, more of a matter of uh, getting the other other stats on him 90 and 46 90 science and 46 culture at the moment not bad i do see uh, also karka has been taken down while uh, these polish units are managing to uh, get right close up and personal to mari they did also chew through the maritime defenses not to mention the pikemen uh, getting to pillage his uh, opponent's districts and uh, will probably take mari that's a lot of med packs those are a lot of med packs all of these uh, farms are actually just going to be free healing spots for apologies wing hussars while a lot of them are coming in i would actually hope he's gonna build a road here because it just takes forever and a day to get the units uh, to karkar i would really hope his next uh, trader is actually gonna help out uh, karkar build a road he invaded into coast tiles ran back to fighting coast tiles instead of fighting in deep ocean yes yes well, one, there is one advantage on um, being in um, the borders of uh, Takamatsu. That's the extra heals that you're going to pop off uh, versus your opponent that doesn't get them. But that also requires you to have the units to uh, um, heal quite a few times. Like you have to have the time to keep them out of uh, combat to get them healed. That's not really what's happening here, is it? It doesn't really have the time. Okay, that's another bow down. Looks like the two frigates from the south might actually get a free kill here on the frigates. Let's see. You see? Yeah, moving. One kill. We got uh, another attack here. Looks like uh, one of those... One of those... Um, yeah, not sea dogs. What are those? Uh, sea, not the sea dogs. How, they are, how are they called? Okay. Oh, oh, he got him. Oh, prioritized correctly. I guess, uh, you know, fifth times the charm over here. Got that frigate out of the way. It has a promotion on it. Also taking hits on the full health ones and uh, moving them back whenever he, ne he needs to. Uh, by the looks of it, um, Bobby is also ignoring these frigates from the south. Might not be the best thing that he can do, especially since his own frigates are... Uh, out exposed over here and we do have another wave of uh, units coming in and i don't see japan bringing that many more only two units coming up next time we're going to need to see they're still grinding through their defenses here i wouldn't say anybody's winning right now but there is a significant chance we're going to see a winner soon we got another wave of attacks against Khmer, getting those trebuchets to start flexing. We do have also Poland starting to try to poke Khmer from the east side. Looking at their economy, we do have Titu managing to get 200 gold at them. That's a more than decent amount for them to uh, make use of. And I do notice uh, in the production queues, Floppy is just getting, uh, wow, sky high. Uh, 292 production points on Vietnam over here. That's pretty big. And of course, in the meantime, he's just getting free promotions from attacking uh, the units of um, France. Easy peasy, void chance, just uh, smashing everything. 
nice uh, setup by the way for the uh, industrial zones very nice setup industrial zones um thans i really like how he sprinkled the thans everywhere i actually like 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 okay so poland gonna go for more pillages uh he does have a lot of times to pillage here from tiritz he well tiritz was kind enough to build everything very very tight very nice very nice that's a scary vietnam yeah yeah that is a scary vietnam And that's actually him in drums of war. Interesting. Interesting that he actually chose to go uh, in drums of war. Anyway, a lot of science is coming out. Uh, tutoring uh, universities. He has uh, so much production. <clears throat> While I do notice uh, France is getting his intelligence agency in four turns. We are uh, five turns out from uh, getting that new era. And uh, we do need to see who's going to manage to get those points. Let's come back to the easy warfare here. What's going to happen? Josie still alive with a few boats. Putting the samurais in the front line. He lost one of the frigates in the south. Another one is going to be taken down. While this one, I don't know what it did. This one, I don't know. This one was drunk or something. Did you see what this one did? He went to the south and then went back. How did he have so much movement? Kick W. I guess it is what it is. Okay, more cannibals coming out next turn. He lost the two frigates in the south. That is actually a very big problem. He has another one, but it needs uh, two turns. And he might actually want to have that uh, caravel. That's good. That's good. Sniping off the boats of Japan. Tearing apart that fleet from one side to the other. Very nice. Uh, Mari is being put under siege. Looks like uh, these wing hussars uh, will get the help of a trebuchet. And I do see he just bought a musket in the city of Babylon. That uh, city is rebelling, but slowly. So doesn't really need to uh, take care of it. And wait a second. Did I see a... Uh, oh, oh, that's a free builder over here. For uh, I guess it was his builder or something. Level 2 spy also for Poland into, uh, into Babylon. He's securing his plus 3. Also managing to get uh, two cities at a time here. This will help him take down Vimayapura and Hariharalaya. Uh, by the way, after he finishes with uh, Babylon. So many units just running around. Doesn't seem like uh, Tiritz is going to go anywhere with his uh, 43 science and 54 culture. Uh, barely getting good pikemen out. And these pikemen are not effective at all against the Wing Hussars. Man, it's been so long since we've seen a perfect Poland. Well, almost perfect Poland push over here from for the Wing Hussars. This is amazing. This, is, this was wonderful one of the um, uh, civilizations that were really used to uh, uh, to help finish games at uh, this turn around like turn 60 turn 70 very strong timing very strong timing uh goal per turn should be fine and our score we do have uh, poland three turns out from uh, getting his golden age if Hirsos is also three turns away from getting it now while i don't see anybody else even coming close and yes we do have only four, like four more turns until the next era uh babylon irrelevant kind of seems so kind of seems so yeah He's gonna lose the city of mari next and that's it temenanki and colosseum taken out in one fell sloop Swoop. Ping pong. The city of Mount Mari goes down. And we do need to see how he's gonna smash from uh, to uh, through Rapicum while he keeps on pillaging as many of these tiles as he can get his hoofs on. And I can't, I mean, look, Babylon just keeps attacking with everything he can, but his units are just not effective. And very surprising that usually Babylon is very, very strong at the beginning okay okay i mean you know the numbers went down a little bit but it looks like uh, both japan's uh, have problems here with uh, their number uh, with their numbers and we do see another wave of japanese boats coming up from his side and uh, yes the frigate wait there was another frigate here where did he send it what is this frigate doing here what is he gonna want to take down auckland or something whoa 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 whoa, whoa. go back josie josie that, that, that you cannot spare the boat bro you just cannot spare the boat. Anyway, maybe they can actually give him some gold. Do they have so much gold that they can just buy boats? Not really, no? No, not really. They barely are making like 250, uh, 300 gold a turn. That's not that big. No, 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 no. No, Venetian Arsenal. Oh my God. He's going for... Oh. I mean, don't get me wrong. It would be nice if he had the Venetian Arsenal bonuses before all of this war started. Not happening. And at the same time, I gotta say, spending 12 turns when your opponent still uh, gets units in front of you. Like, you look at that. All of the cities of Japan are getting units out. It's not really a good 
way to go about this he's just gonna get out spammed much faster than he can get the bonuses from venetian arsenal later on in the game like he needs at least like probably 20 turns from now to get the bonuses from venetian arsenal to make uh, help him make up the units that he lost building venetian arsenal that's a very long investment can he even keep up with the damage until then i don't know we'll see in the meantime well it looks like Babylon is gonna full die here he doesn't really have a safety settler out anywhere and he doesn't really have where to go either Rapikum is gonna be taken down we do have uh, next wave of attacks on Persia oh no Khmer is actually pushing into the Persian territory Cavs coming off from Persia to hit some of these units while of course pikemen are gonna be quite strong to defend them okay gold 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 Okay, they actually have enough gold from the pillages to give Josie to buy, keep buying units there. Oh, core ability also coming up on the Polish Winkersar. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That's a level 3 Winkersar. Oh, just 92 strength against the pikeman. 95 strength against the pikeman. Wow. Okay, that's another city going down. Let's uh, see the next wave of attacks. I'm pretty sure Borsipa is also going to go down after these uh, wing assaults are going to have the feel of the wheat tiles there. Not to mention the mines. Now, it looks like uh, some of the cities will need to be recaptured here. They are very, very, very loyal to the Babylonian people. Okay, is France doing anything? No, actually France losing units here. Losing health on units. These uh, these uh, void chance, man. If only he had more. If only Floppy had more. These void chance, unbelievable. Anyway, Floppy getting some campus research projects. So we might have um, Newton coming up next. Emily Duchatelet is uh, on the board here. Newton has not been picked up, nor did um, the happy scientist. Uh, do pillages show up in total gold uh, wait which total gold total gold here uh this total gold is not good at all if you're looking these numbers are not correct not at all correct we don't know exactly what's wrong there and but i'm pretty sure it has been bugged from the um, beginning uh they do show up in the total gold they have in the coffer it's, yes it will it will add to the coffer gold uh, shouldn't that be a GG? That's a very good question. Like, um, I'm pretty sure most teams would actually GG, uh, GG at this point. And uh, we do need to take a look what they're trying to come up with and uh, what are they putting their hopes in, especially since it doesn't seem like at the moment Japan is... Oh, and never mind. He's actually going to secure this. Yeah, he's actually securing this. And again, Josie needs a lot of economic support here. He needs to literally buy out units to help him uh, stay afloat, help him stay alive. He's just not outputting as many boats. Oh, yes, he's not building the Venetian. Yes, yes. Well, that's a victory. No. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Oh, oh. Oh, it's fine. Okay, more boats, more boats. Just, this is his only prerogative. More boats. Just more boats, more boats, more boats. Everything, everything. And if they can manage to fund that war with uh, Babylon's resources, I mean, why not? Of course, somebody when Maldium and uh, Auckland are gonna go down somebody's gonna lose a military alliance and we don't know yet who is the one that's gonna lose a military alliance is it gonna be Pompey is it gonna be um is it gonna be Catherine de Medici or and I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be Firsos right they they probably try to tie these differently like for example Catherine de Medici with Babylon Khmer with Japan right basically that's they they made a I would say a cross between them Oh uh, my god, I cannot pronounce your name, sir. Uh, AJF, I'm gonna do it like that. Good evening, sir. When Ironclad's on Josie and he's using engineers for uh, Venetian, uh, let me actually take a look on that. It looks like, uh, well, Venetian has uh, at least put down the foundation, but it doesn't look like he's uh, gonna get those engineers very quickly. Bisheng is in the next one. He's barely making three great engineer points a turn. You're also asking me about Ironclad's, right? Let's see. He's one turn away from Ironclad's. He's one turn away from minor class and there we go the buy for a frigate right you need to do it but wait he's one turn away from ironclads and he has only a single frigate like two frigates okay 
Well, that's a problem. That is a significant problem that I guess uh, he needs to fix or he cannot fix anymore. Oh, wait, he has no more free, no more cannibals to upgrade into ironclads. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, good, uh, good question, AJ. Uh, that's not iron class. That oh my god, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, cool whip, cool whip. Thank you. Cheers, sir. Yes, that's not iron class. Team power, you need team power for iron class. My mind is deceiving me. I was so excited that we might actually have a one turn, but no. Oh, there we go. Buy for a caravan. There are uh, significantly more frigates here on the side of. Um, <clears throat> Hojo, and he, that's the reason right now he's actually taking down all of these units. Not to mention he has enough uh, caravels in the front line to uh, finish the job. <clears throat> and still, we got some counter attacks happening here. Okay. Well, still, still, more boats, more economy, more of everything needs to happen. Uh, Maljum gonna be taken down soon. Getting those wing hussars to hit it as uh, hard as possible. Of course, a bombard also has been upgraded. Auckland is getting hit by uh, frigates. And there is a safety settler trying to get out there. But it looks like it's just going to be a Polish city afterwards. A Polish settler. It is what it is. It's going to get converted. Uh, multiple uh, crossbows coming around from the cities of uh, Petit Pascal. He's uh, getting ready to uh, get his ballistics. And I'm pretty sure he wants a lot of these field cannons. Which will help him chew e immediately through the pikeman territory. Now we are in the next era. And we did see a golden age on apology. And I do notice Fersos did not manage to get his own golden age. His own normal age. Wait. Wasn't he like a few points off? What happened? Anyway. We got uh, also one more minute. Until we're going to have a two minute pause. And we do need to see if uh, Josie here is going to fall. All. It looks like at least he's gonna lose cities here. That seems like uh, Pompey is managing to um, get that win there. Uh, we do have camps from France, not able to push into Vietnam. Yeah, not able to push into Vietnam. That's a problem. And uh, France is 161 signs, while uh, Floppy is keeping up very nicely. More culture also on him. Uh, good enough uh, production, much better actually production than TTU at the moment with economy. Uh, they're okay, they're okay, much better economy on the Sharks, but of course with one of their players going down here, FDLV is uh, going to be in a 4 versus 3 situation, and it looks like this, these cities are going to fall next time. Can they get like one of those uh, cheap city states to levy and then uh, attack into their opponent, or in attack into another city state? No, no they can't, they cannot. Uh, when guards, uh, they are not useful here, the guards. Look at the continent split. It's right at the edge of the mountains. They're not useful at all. This is just for defense, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nuclear power plants. Bridge dam. Okay, so we got a pause of two minutes. It looks like just in the nick of time I need to message.
Okay, let's see. Can they pull it off? It looks like the first civilization has been taken down. Tirits is uh, leaving the scene over here with uh, the city of Oakland being taken last. It looks like he didn't actually give it to Josie. Well, it is what it is. He finished the job there. And it looks like uh, Josie is getting massively pushed in the city of uh, Takamatsu. Is this going to be the time that we need to check the military alliance? It looks like the military alliance is still activated on Pompey. We gotta this. We gotta pause. Oh, pause. Pause after the Congress. Okay, pause after Congress. Uh, Kumer and Babylon units being killed so fast that they're on positive gold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, well, I guess we need to put a 10 minute pause timer here. Down, down. Yeah, there we go. Be right back. Need to uh, talk on phone about Athena.
I'm a bit restless, I'm sorry. Uh, this shark has for a pause, not safety of these, so it isn't pause GG. Yes, yes, it isn't pause GG. Uh, or at least not yet. I was actually uh, watching uh, from the other room to see if they GG or not uh, during the pause, but it doesn't seem like it. Are they... Let me actually check the Discord if they're in the same channel or not. It wouldn't be the first time they didn't put a GG and um, give us a, yeah, a screen to watch. It's fine. Okay, we got a team plus is coming around. I can uh, tick off the pause. It looks like we were three minutes to go. That also kind of is less right away. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Spy going in from France into uh, Petit Pascal's territory. We do have France actually. Wait a second. Does he have the power? Because that's the problem. Having the power in, in the next part of the game to first of all punch through Vietnam and then uh, manage to secure the kill on Poland. Poland is going to be massive. Like Poland right here getting all of the land of Babylon is going to be a beast. And of course Babylon's, um, he did manage to build him Colosseum. He got the theater squares. He got uh, commercials with tanks. This is very good for uh, Poland. They're now going to probably uh, rip apart um, Khmer in the north between the mountains. This is not going to be a problem for those um, Wing Hussars. The Wing Hussars are actually the best units that you can use to punch through your opponent's defenses. Especially through one tile chokes. You know, well, I guess... No, they're better than the... Well, are they better? Wait a second. I think we need to put up a poll here. Are they better than uh, Wind Sculpture Victory here? It might be. It might be Cool Whip. I mean, that definitely could be an option. Uh, let's see. I want to put up a poll on uh, Twitch really quickly. What is the stronger? Is it the Cossack of Russia? Or is it the um, Wing Hassan? I'm very curious. Let's go. Let's start the poll here. Minimum two. Let's go. Is it the Cossacks because of their ability to keep on hitting and upgrading? Or is it the um, is it the Wing Hussar extra damage, extra initial damage against a unit that cannot retreat uh, stronger? And uh, let's see, Apology is right now on 124 Faith at 10 with a 98 Tourism. We do have Titi Boli defending with a 75 uh, Tourism right now and looking at the culture. Is he even the defender? Yes, he is. No, Pompey is the defender with 42. Uh, we do have uh, Takamatsu not able to get the walls before uh, it's going to go down. Looks like uh, Pompey is going to shave off one of the cities of Josie. While uh, we do have Josie still trying to get as many boats as he can to uh, keep on Japan busy. Well, the two Japans are against... Uh, well, you see what's happening. It's uh, they're uh, they're doing a lot of uh, fratricide here. It is what it is. Now we do have also Petit Pascal going for his uh, next up uh, libraries and universities and camera training projects for the next general. I gotta say he lost a lot of units fighting off uh, Khmer here and uh, taking one city away from Khmer. While from the south we do have the Wing Hussars managing to take down. They took down both both of those um, piking shots. 
from Khmer, from Firsos. And the economy is not looking that great right now on FDLV. We do have them with 182 gold on T-Tube. And of course, that also makes him uh, not able to pump out an army and uh, upkeep it because that's not gonna, uh, he's not going to have gold for everything else. I do notice uh, Apology used this time to just keep on settling cities. And uh, he's on 170 science with 129 culture. How many cities does he have? He's on 16 cities. I mean, this is the way to come back, right? He's okay. He's not going to care that much about amenities, but I'm pretty sure he's going to have not only a lot of culture and tourism, but he's also going to have a lot of science. He has uh, quite a few universities that still need to be built. And I do see him uh, getting his great library in the city of Bitgonsk. Uh, we do have uh, him kind of ignoring Khmer to his direct west, even though I'm pretty sure he can uh, start using his, that faith button to keep on buying units in, in Lublin, uh, Giesno, while he keeps on pushing uh, from the south of Khmer. Gonna need to wait for the field cannons of Persia. If, and this is going to be massive, by the way. Persia is going to get field cannons. Those Wink Hassans are going to hold the front line. Field cannons right behind them. <laughs> He's just going to hit them hard. And we do have a bit more gold being invested in the Khmer while he's uh, trying to get these uh, parking shots as quickly as possible out. I don't think anybody built Statue of Zeus, did they? No, nobody's having that extra production on them. Anyway, you know, Viadapura is going to probably go down. Apology here is going to make quick work of it. We do have uh, Bombards level 2s uh, coming in from, to help. And these actually hit the pikemen and the pike shots quite a bit also. <clears throat> I have something else to point out. Phil Cannons versus pikemen is not even a matchup. Phil Cannons take down the pikemen and uh, piking shots like they're nothing. They're like they're butter. I think he is at zero amenities. Yeah, or even lower, actually. Let me let me check. He's on zero, zero, plus three. Actually, look at that. His capital is plus three. Interesting. 11 pop city, capital plus three. Not bad, not bad. At least the capital, right? At least the capital. How much does he have? He's on 45 product. And that's not really... I mean, to be honest, he doesn't really have a setup for... Um, for, in, for industrial zones here. Could have just uh, set one single aqueduct from uh, Bitcoin and got two uh, industrial zones next to it. I guess he doesn't care right now. It is what it is. Anyway, uh, military engineers starting to come out of the Vietnamese cities. We got calves uh, watching calves. It looks like the uh, diplomatic visibility is still on T2 plus three, even though they kind of equal themselves out for quite some time. We got multiple spies from uh, Vietnam, three spies in the cities of France here getting their uh, promotions and one of them probably working on listening post. There we go. Two getting promotions, one getting listening post. Uh, Takamatsu is being uh, held by Pompey while he's working on uh, taking down Tokyo. We do have trebuchets coming in from Josie's cities and the uh, building up another wave of uh, frigates in the northern tiles this is going to be a kind of a well i guess the last ditch effort to save his capital from uh, being taken out japanese samurais are also starting to uh, come out onto the field here they still have an extra plus five on the coast and i'm pretty sure he's going to pillage a few traders here and he cannot help it and we do have shizuoka here Auckland got liberated okay very nice that's actually polish city right now no he liberated it. Yeah, Auckland is uh, Josie series with 11 envoys in there. And I want to point out how quickly Apology is going to get his science. I want to point out. So right now he's on 185. He just jumped from 160. Let's see what's going to happen in the next few turns when so many, so many of these um, cities are going to get more campuses. He's going to get to use his universities. He's going to build more and uh, everything, everything. Not to mention the population is going to start uh, adding up quite a bit. Looks like Wing Hussars are winning the day over the Cossacks. But uh, Shaw knows uh, did put 500 child points into this. I, I see. I see. Nobody voted into Cossacks. So definitely Wing Hussars are stronger by the looks of it. Uh, Okay, so as you can see, the Pikey Shots can hold the line for a little while longer against the Wing Hussars. They're quite strong on 94. While the first field cannons are coming in, check this damage out. Viking shots don't have stand a chance. That is a level zero field cannon attacking into this without. I don't think he even has a general, does he? No, he doesn't even have a general, so no extra plus five on it. Imagine when he's gonna get the general. Okay, that's a 78 against 69, and he's gonna get the promotions on them also. More more damage, another plus five from that, another plus seven from that. Coding them up another point. Like this, these are gonna start two shining the pike in men and probably two shining the pike issues by the end of it. 
Okay, we got uh, Poland amassing his uh, military next to Harir Haralai using uh, the distance that he has from the lake to keep on shooting on the defensive pikemen while he's moving his uh, wing hazards into position to uh, try to triple shot one of the units of uh, his opponent and securing the kill now we do have also to take a look here what's going on here in camera training projects coming up from france uh, has a problem with engazar gamu cannot take it down i do notice uh, he did manage to get amina as a general and getting more in camera training projects for multiple cities to secure one of the modern ones that's probably what he's aiming one of the modern ones once <clears throat> uh, tokyo is about to go down even with the trebuchets inside of it he doesn't have enough strength to uh, take down the frigates quickly when the, i do notice his two frigates in the city of nagoya are just standing by watching what's going on and not able to uh, affect the war whatsoever you now we do have also takamatsu liberating well rebelling in three turns that's going to be need to be retaken some frigates in the south that are going to be easily overwhelmed is he getting a safety settle or is he just gonna oh i see he's just gonna use uh, nagano and fukushima to stay alive wait i think he needs another one i think he needs a, a safety settle somewhere around here somewhere like you know or north of uh, persia oh well it is what it is we're gonna need to see if he's gonna get one or if he's uh, gonna actually uh, die we don't know yet and that's still a massive investment from um from Pompey to go against him like this. He, Pompey is in a dark age right now. He has that extra plus five, getting electronics factories and the more uh, campuses with libraries and universities. Now, I'm pretty sure he's going to get a lot more science soon. 172 production. And the question is, can he get to a good enough unit to stop a victory from his opponents or even uh, secure a victory for themselves? We already have apology with eight out of uh, 44 of these uh, domestic... Um, or I should say international foreign 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 um, tourists and I do notice at the moment he's getting those theater square festivals building more theater squares in his uh, territory actually from quite a few cities repairing them in the lands of Babylon Babylon was kind enough to build a few of them and there we go apology popped over 200 science 206 and 161 uh, multiple units uh, bearing down on Firsus's location while the field cannons of Petit Pascal are just itching to get their shots against the pikemen uh, we do need to see him also get more gold here we don't really have a good enough uh, economy on the side of fdlb i do notice uh, yes 203 gold attend from titio but firsos is losing 59 and at the same time uh, still building more units trying to get as many as possible out uh, so he can well delay the takeover i don't think he can ever stop the takeover of his series he can only delay the takeover of his series Is this France plus Japan against the world? Yes, yes. Basically, this is turning to a France versus Japan. Uh, France with Japan against the world. Yes. Uh, please make sure we can't hear your discord notifications i always get for oh my god yes yes i'm sorry give me a second at some point i did switch this back because i uh, didn't hear the notifications on something else give me a second i'm i'm deactivating uh pretty deactive oh oh i this uh message right yeah this okay <clears throat> there we go i disabled them also, good and up on uh, Salty Capivara. How are you doing, man? Uh, D-Shark should win this one. It looks like it's uh, coming to that. Yeah, it's coming to uh, D-Shark might actually win this one. They have a significant chance. And I got to point out, if they do, they will be tied with SPA on, the, on that fourth slot. And we do need to see who's actually going to get uh, uh, on top of each other when uh, the last game needs to be played. They have one more week before the playoffs. An apology saying, lol. Wait, what? Oh. The two pikemen. Yeah, the two pikemen got on top of each other here. 
It is what it is. Level 2. Oh my god. Level 2. Uh, Fear Cannon coming out from Apology. Starting to do the damage from across. The, uh, from behind those Wing Hussars. Slowly tearing those down. That is uh, also going to get the benefits of Governor Victor. But I gotta say. It does seem like these Fear Cannons uh, should have been a bit more powerful. What's going on here? Mm -mm -mm. That's a level 2. And that's uh, less powerful than these? What? No, it's more powerful, no? 83. That's not by much, though. Okay, I think it's the general. Does he not have a general for them? Yeah, he doesn't have a general for them. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah, uh, we do have the, the field cannon core starting to move. Oh my, look at look at the shots. The field cannon, he just needs to get the field cannons and that's it. You know, pushing through the defenses of uh, Khmer towards the city of Himayapuna. trying to split his forces up so he doesn't let them uh, clump up and uh, group together. And we do have uh, Petit Pascal also getting those banks in and um, recruiting more of these or making more of these encampment training projects so he can recruit one of the modern generals. I'm pretty sure Poland will need one and I'm pretty sure Vietnam will also need one. Well, we do have... Uh, France managing to get uh, an encampment right in the face of the city of Hue with uh, multiple Voi Chins uh, starting to do the shots you know, one by one. They are starting to get those uh, arrows raining down on the encampment of Marseille. And we do have some uh, military engineers also making up those uh, roads there, creating the pathways. And I'm pretty sure he's going to need to start uh, getting the rare roads. Look at all of these trade routes. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10 trade routes. 11 trade routes are going to... Uh, wow, more. Actually, 12 trade routes are uh, going to pass through these uh, railroads here. Kilbak is Ivani coming up in two turns. We do have Polonia still being kept by Apology. Uh, looks like uh, Laventa and Yerevan were not invested in. And I'm pretty sure he has at least one envoy in there. You know, makes uh, sense for that faith per turn. I'm going to get industrialization next turn. He's on 400 production. He's already doubled the production of his opponents, by the way. Both him and Floppy are double the production of their opponents. Uh, Japan and T-Tube. So unless actually Pompey gets something like a magical bunny out of his hat or something, I doubt that he's actually going to get to the same production numbers. He did manage to secure the kill on uh, Josie's coastal cities, well, except this one in the south that he's going to take right now. Uh, by the looks of it, uh, that safety setter that was coming out is not there anymore, and we do have a samurai starting to defend the cities of Nagano. We might actually see Persia having the ability to uh, flip back these cities. I'm pretty sure with uh, the Quirasias, he's going to do enough damage against those city centers. While Pompey pushing in with the uh, Samurai cores, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a significant problem. Okay, well, Pompey just ran out of cities uh, to take out with his uh, navy. And we'll see what Japan does, Josie does, to actually fend off this attack. Perja definitely needs to get in there, get dirty in there. Okay, Fimayapura buying one of the cuirassiers out. Uh, some of the Cumerian pike shots are running away towards the south, and we do have another wave of uh, units being placed down. He's splitting that defense up from the south. Uh, and I do notice Apologies managing to get in there and uh, secure tiles, more tiles. Okay, when are those uh, culture points coming? 243 science, 188 culture. Apology, every turn he's adding those science points back. Uh, back. He's adding more science points on him, not to mention more culture points. He is on 150 faith, 138 tourism. Went up by 40 tourism in the last two turns. Getting a musician here. He's probably going to get the next ones also. He's making right now 30 great musician points. That's a project. That definitely... That, is a hundred percent a project okay gonna recruit another wave of great writers great artists with the next project and he's gonna get in two turns he's the only thing he's done doing right now he's doing the projects and yes it does seem like uh, cool whip was correct we might actually see a culture victory here from uh, uh, poland we do have him uh, using pilgrimage and stupas for the extra merit and extra faith per turn uh, pilgrimage is uh, gonna be quite nice when he's gonna spread it all over the place i believe he did spread it in most of the place and wait a second he got converted this is the religion of uh Khmer here in the city of gesno whoa well i guess it is what it is you know he's getting work ethic <laughs> kick it is what it is if only it was gandhi the big gandhi whoa this level two field cannon can actually do quite a bit of damage, but it's only one field cannon, right? And that, um, that thing Yaman looks like it's gonna die. On the last legs, does Ulysses have to face FDLV for the first place then also? Uh, let me take a look. 
So Ulysses 8 and 3, Freitas de la Vega would be uh, 9 and 3. It all depends if uh, Ulysses manages to get another win on the board. They have both of them have, oh, actually no, Freitas de la Vega is going to finish their game. Who is uh, Ulysses playing this week? Does anybody know? Who is the last game? Wait, let me switch to bracket here. Maybe I get uh, more information. What the? WTF, bro. Wait. Man, this website went, uh, went wawa. Website went wawa. Oh, no. I don't know. It's not uh, loading the bracket as uh, it should. No. Oh, my God. Okay. Login. Kick. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, did France start uh, free simming at the start of Poland Babylon uh, war? Uh, I didn't really start free simming to be honest. Like it didn't really start doing that. Okay, looks like France is uh, moving back his uh, field cannon. He knows he's gonna lose that place. We do have uh, the two cities of uh, Japan of Josie being um, defended over here by Persia, sending those uh, cuirassiers on the front line. Gonna help him defend against the Samurai Corps. It doesn't seem like uh, Josie's Samurai uh, are gonna be up to the challenge, but they still can withstand a few attacks. More of them are coming out, and he's gonna try to hold strong these cities, Fukushima and Nagano. While, of course, the city in the south has been taken, Pompey is going to benefit from a bit more production and more stats from uh, these cities. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. 170 science, uh, 50 culture right now, 224 production. And that is with industrialization and uh, quite a few of these uh, electronic factories already built. He's getting his shipyards right now. He's going to get a significant boost in his production capabilities. But we do see on the other side, apology already on 506 production, 242 science and 208 culture. Culture. while uh, there is uh, also a possibility for uh, Japan to try to defend this culture victory we do need to see if he's gonna get the population to do so like he needs a lot of uh, population so he gets to the next district slot so he can place down mass place down those uh, theater squares and it might not be in enough time depending on how fast the Jadwiga can actually get the uh, tourists apologies 9 out of 50 he got to roll another one uh still struggling with uh, taking down um, Hari Haralaya, but I do see if Vimayapura is uh, taken down, secured the kill by Pepti Pascal with the field cannons managing to uh, clear the pathways for these cuirassiers. Oh my god, he just got uh, ancient walls. Well, that's not gonna matter, is it? Yeah, that's not gonna matter. Well, there goes the ancient walls, guys. It is what it is. Well, at least it was another hit from one of the trebuchets, huh? And another trebuchet. I mean, he's just flexing right now. Scanning three units out of generals, flexing on the front line there. Okay, let's see. Here, nothing happening. That city went down. That's uh, the fifth city of Khmer. Second one that goes down. Fifth city altogether that he placed down. Now, we uh, do not have an attacking force from the east, from Poland. Again, the majority of uh, the action is happening on the west side, where there is much open, much more open space. We will see these uh, Persian camps uh, follow their, their attack towards the middle of the lands of um, Khmer. We're going to need to see if they're going to secure that victory. Uh, one more Polish wing Hassan has been taken down. Yeah, where is the counterattack? Also, maybe uh, Fritos de la Vega will ban Tokugawa now. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Yeah. Uh, wait, uh, I didn't uh, answer the question, right? Who is the next one on uh, to play Ulysses? Who are they playing this week? Give me a second. Why is this not logging in? Oh my God, it is. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. I have no idea for what reason the bracket, exactly the bracket for uh, Civil First Division 1 is not working right now as uh, I was expecting it. Wait. Oh, I think I can see. That's uh, Ulysse versus Chacun Porsoir. <clears throat> Ulysse versus Chacun Porsoir. We'll see in the score show what they did. By the way, if you guys don't know about the score show, it's um, a little bit of uh, information video that I do on YouTube so you can get uh, the read of all of the scores of uh, all of the tournaments that are ongoing right now. We're also going to have a surprise on Saturday. I understand um, the Hidden Cup is coming back. 
I'm going to need to see who are the players. Okay, looks like uh, Japan is being pushed back. Uh, Josie is managing to keep uh, Nagano in Fukushima with the help of uh, Perja. Okay, Japan sending settlers towards the west. Looks like the encampment is just free experience for these Vietnamese Voichens. All of them are getting uh, their level 2s, level 3s here. And they also have uh, fear cannon upgrades. So I'm pretty sure uh, France is going to think twice of uh, attacking in there. His guard imperials definitely don't do enough damage to even pass through the cav defense of uh, Vietnam. Let alone uh, keep on pushing towards the city centers. And we do have more production capabilities coming out from uh, floppy cities with 240 science and 139 culture. It does seem like he has the bigger stick here against Catherine de Medici 453 points of production also while Apology did manage to get over um, 500 production he did also manage to get uh, 248 science 225 culture with 160 tourism he just rolled another 22 points of tourism here from something getting uh, Apadana in the city of Krakow has uh, another music to use and I do see uh, Donatello is uh, helping him get more of those um, great works uh, on the um, on the art museums in the art museums it was like uh, there's a bit of uh, running around here happening is uh, apology i think he just refocused all of his efforts to uh, get the culture victory by the looks of it he's spamming the he's spamming these theater squares from everywhere getting these um, art museums and amphitheaters in them and of course uh, filling them with books so he gets uh, as much tourism as possible and as quickly as possible going through the writers artists and musicians uh, we did have poland also managing to get newton while uh, tokugawa did get Ip Kaldun. they secured both of those on uh, the sharks team oh that's pretty big that's pretty big Oh, railroads starting to come online between Floppy and Poland. This is going to significantly increase the gold per turn they're making. We do have uh, Poland on uh, 224 and the uh, Petit Pascal on 156. Not to mention Floppy and Josie <coughs> are also positive. We got uh, some more curiosities coming up from Petit Pascal. He definitely wants to keep on banging on the doorstep of uh, Firsos. If they do manage to actually nullify him, like take him out entirely, again, another uh, military alliance is going to fall here. And we do not know exactly who is uh, going to lose. Well, I'm pretty sure both of them are going to lose it. And unless uh, they start trading, uh, with, um, how to say, unless they make a military alliance between themselves, they're just not going to benefit from the extra plus five. It's very important for them to actually take out Khmer here if they do want to keep on uh, pushing them with um, units <clears throat> but i'm pretty sure this is culture victory waiting room apology getting every turn more production more culture more faith more everything he's gonna get to rock pants relatively quickly he's on natural history right now in two turns and getting his team power going i'm pretty sure we're gonna see a lot of tourism quite quickly from his side 170 right now just other 10 more points gonna finish the tapadana in two and uh, gonna get more musics when he's gonna discover his um, next uh, civics i'm pretty sure he's gonna put on the double cards for the great works Uh, hey, Hassan, good evening, sir. Would um, Kamir last 15 turns now? You mean Japan? Well, I guess... Uh, it is... Wait, I'm not sure what you're asking. <clears throat> if he's gonna with, um, like hold the other Japan 50 more turns, or uh, are you speaking of Tojo? Are you speaking of uh, Josie? I'm not sure. I'm confused. <laughs> Phil Cannon's here, Phil Cannon's on the other side. This is quite messy to push into. <coughs> it does look like uh, Firsos is bunkering down as much as possible, getting some medics. <coughs> while I'm pretty sure we're gonna have tanks quite soon here. Firsos is at the moment on an 87 science, while we do have Petit Pascal on 208. He's gonna get to uh, labs quite quickly. Oh, wait a second. Going scientific theory in one, while he's getting uh, quite a few cuirassiers from his cities. I was thinking he might actually go as quickly as possible to combustion, but he might be right close up to that, especially since he does have um, steel walls and i do see he's not making iron okay uh, he's not making oil so he needs to get uh, refining so he has two more takes until he's gonna get combustion 
Okay. What's uh, apologies at? 176. Another six tourism added. Another, another, another. Okay. Another project coming in next turn. He's uh, quite far away from recruiting the next musician, but that's Dimitri Cantemir, which will give him three of these uh, music works. I'd also notice uh, we do have Albert Einstein as the next scientist, which uh, should actually be picked up by somebody else than Poland, to be honest. I don't think Poland has the time nor the will to go there, while uh, Persia might actually have that opportunity to be honest i don't think it matters that much if uh, titu picks it up or japan picks it up like um how to say petit pascal um, no petit, well, pompey will pick it up because he's just not gonna have the time to make use of it that in that society is basically gives you the points if you have research labs not if you don't have them and i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a long time before the pompey is gonna get uh, his research labs okay we got Persia, 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 Persia next to Japan, just uh, looking at each other there. Looks like uh, <clears throat> Oakland has been taken down, not that, not that it matters that much anymore, but you know, it was a kill, it, it did good, do well. Now we do have uh, also more units appearing from Japan on the east, on, uh, from Vietnam on the east side, while he's getting Cuirassier cores from multiple cities. Uh, I would imagine he's going to want to get a few tanks also. Uh, we do have uh, the moment floppy getting his steel walls in two, and uh, also the mobilization in uh, two turns he's gonna get his uh oh my god okay he's gonna get his um army ability on his units mm, i don't think he's gonna be strong enough even with the tanks to push through france i guess it all depends on uh, where france is gonna go but he's getting his own tanks so i think they're just gonna nullify each other bonuses here until uh, planes come out and still france will probably have the upper hand on the defense we do have uh, Gdansk also securing a Statue of Liberty in seven turns. Uh, there still is... No, there are no more chops there. No more chops. He chopped everything. I don't think anybody else is getting that. No, no, no. Nobody else is getting that. Japan is going for the biplanes. And yes, he does actually get the opportunity to get the biplane here. You can see he's sending his city. Uh, so he has uh, the close proximity to Vietnamese uh, cities. So he can actually push into... Or I should say help uh, France push into uh, Vietnam with fighters and bombers we're going to, need to see if he's going to be successful here <clears throat> and uh, be able to do that before the um, culture victory activates we got uh, 12 out of 53 tourists right now for apology he needs uh, 41 more that's not easy that's not easy it's gonna take some time but with so many cities and so many more points coming out more of these uh, tourism points uh it might actually be feasible 180 tourism a turn right now potala palace also coming up in eight wait what happened in the diplo we have yeah we don't have points we have... everybody's on three points okay everybody's on three points okay 189 tourism and uh, Apadana is going to get another music. That's uh, going to be Pog getting uh, also Casa de Constratación. Uh, he is on one big continent, but he definitely has a few cities to the southwest that he inherited from uh, Babylon. While I do have to point out, you do get the extra um, governor titles, which is amazing for the Casa de Constratación. Uh, we do have Persia also managing to get uh, close up and personal with Gumer. Looks like he's uh, putting his field cannons right in the harm's way, and that's probably going to be a problem for those that field cannon. <coughs> He's probably gonna die. Do we have actually more movement? No, no. This one can shoot. Oh my god, they're doing so much damage. I guess it is what it is. Anyway, uh, the units in the south don't seem like they're that numerous anymore. But uh, neither did Poland uh, put more units on the table here. I'm pretty sure they're waiting for the Persian tanks to come out so they can uh, flex against Firsos. Firsos is very far behind with the science and I'm pretty sure tanks is going to be a technology a bit too uh, strong for him. Petit Pascal is getting combustion in two turns and he has a few of these pre-builds here getting more, getting more, getting more, actually quite a few more. Mass media coming up for apology in three turns. He's on 308 culture a turn. While uh, he did manage to put that musician in, looks like the game is calling him on 14 out of 53. Got to roll another two of those uh, with uh, 207 tourism at the moment. He's just uh, 
accelerating over here to get those uh, points. In the great uh, musician screen, we do have him uh, getting the projects every few turns, and you do see he needs another uh, 130 points to get to um, the next one, to Dimitri Kantemir. He's kind of the only one making projects, so he's probably going to get there in record time. We do have uh, one project coming up in two turns, and that's it? One project? Okay, well, I guess he does need uh, to finish off his art museums from everywhere, not to mention work or more traders get the Statue of Liberty and uh, so on. I guess, I guess this is going to be quite a race for the culture victory and it is going to be a question if Japan is going to manage to get his uh, planes in the air here. I have serious doubts actually, serious doubts. It might be, there is a slim chance, there is a slim chance. And to be honest, d -Shark actually played beautifully. I gotta say, I gotta say, man, they did exactly what they needed to do when they needed to do. Well, Josie could have done a little bit differently, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, level two spine Mashad. Okay, that's at level three actually. It has a promotion. Uh, looks like both of these fear cannon cores did manage to get out of there, not before they actually did some damage. Okay, uh, Apology is still not pushing there, and we do have Forbidden City coming up in Gezno in four turns. That's gonna help him get that extra diploma, uh, extra wildcard policy slot, putting a water park in between his initial settles. But keeps on going to get the Potala Palace. If uh, push comes to shove, they could go for a diplo victory, and of course, securing the points is gonna be important. 300, 300, 300 science, 300 culture on a Apology, he does have 640 production points. Wait, is he making? No, he's not actually making more than his opponents combined, but he's getting there. And with more aqueducts and more of these uh, industrial zones being uh, <clears throat> fit everywhere in the cities in the south that he got from um, from Tirith, he's gonna. This is just gonna keep him going. Mahabodhi Temple also. So that's wait. That's two, three. Four, five, six points. He has six points of Diplo that he can get right now. That's going to put him like two Congresses away from... Well, about two Congresses away from getting the victory. But that's full Congresses. Do they have that much Diplo? Oh, they do. They do actually have that much Diplo favor to secure the victory on all three. And that's a GG right there. Fizzor so says we have it enough. d sharks managing to get the victory over their opponents, Fred. It was De La Vega, the top dogs over there in Division 1. We do have them nailing. Uh, coming really close to SPA right now. They are tied with one last game needing to be played in this division. This quite day. big, quite big. Let's um, also move into the post-game chat and see what the players are going to talk about here soon. I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to hear a lot of French. A lot of French. It is what it is. And hopefully if anybody wants to translate over here in the chat, or I can uh, I can try, but I, I still have problems in translating in real time if uh, the players are talking about uh, something else that I know, uh, that I don't know. It is what it is. Anyway, uh, where are they? Wait, I see only... Whoa. Oh, I see. So we move here. Wait, let me switch my sound settings first. Uh, this. There we go. GG, well GG. Bon, ça n'arrivera pas. Hein. Mais si vous rasiez Floppy, vous avez gagné. Je ne suis pas une religieuse, j'ai jamais vu ça de ma vie. Ah ouais. ah, beaucoup de chance pour eux, hein, pour moi. Mais non, mais c'est impossible. Mais en fait, Tokug est converti dans genre 3 tours et il manque que Floppy. Ah merde! Vu qu'en okay. fait, vu qu en fait euh, elle, est con... elle est convertie la Pologne vu qu'elle a gardé les villes. Exactement. Oui, mais... 3 sur 9, nous on n'est pas converti. Euh... Un... Non, non, mais attendez, nous on n'est pas converti. C'est impossible. Non, mais ça compte pas. T'as besoin de convertir Après... ta team. Il y a, y a, y a deux ça slots de pas. caster. Ok. Non mais c'était impossible, il n'y avait aucun monde où ça arrivait, mais ça aurait été un peu marrant. Je pense qu'on aurait eu les nerfs. Pour raser Floppy, l'élève il fallait quand même se lever de bonheur, j'aurais pu avoir des avions et tout, mais... Non mais il a deux, il a votre prod cumulé, plus 200, donc bon. J'ai kilo à double rouge, ça fait beaucoup de prod. J'ai 152 prod là, donc... Ouais, t'as 600 prod cumulé. Non mais j'ai longtemps, je suis pas moi. C'est quand qu'on fait un... Je sais pas, genre... Répartir les huîtres comme il faut là. 
Après, ça lui a eu un bat. Floppy, il de pop. Alors, où est-ce que ça a donné <rire> oh, il a un peu grid Titit, mais je pense que même s'il gridait pas avec le plus 5, l'ambiance était ouais. bizarre. Le, le, sp le, sp le spawn polonais est comment On le fait déjà pas. Il est bien. Ouais, c'est bien mon spawn. Il, il, est énorme, euh... il, est, il, est, il est vraiment Pardon, incroyable son spawn. Hein. Ouais, parce que on... tour 52, on le voyait en 70-120 là. On était là Après, Apo, j'ai pas capté pourquoi tu nous as fait protrier au lieu de faire mining là. On n'a pas capté, je vais pas te mentir. Pour reposer le lieu 5. Ah, mais tu veux pas le poser à droite de ta cape Non, c'est une forêt, je crois. Je vous souvent, vous les non, c'est une colline. Donc t'as vu une colline, mais bon, ouais, euh, peut-être quoi. plus ça, on plus tôt. <rire> bah disons que t'avais un bat et deux ombres à travailler, quoi. Donc moi, ça m'a ah ouais, un peu énervé. Oui. Euh, euh, non, non, ouais. t'avais deux tours potées. Bon, c'est pas grave. Faut, faut, faut aller se faire foutre, hein, avoir quatre scouts sur le Vietnam. Faut aller se faire foutre, hein. vraiment. Hein. <rire> Il Après, Floppy nous a fait une enchaîne, donc bon. La CS, elle l'a pris, elle l'a retourné, frère. Ouais, j'ai allé mollo, mais je voulais pas perdre mes privés. Je crois que j'ai perdu un cave. Ça m'a déjà fait chier d'en perdre un. Après, t'as calculé ton général, ça a pas dû aider. Bah oui, c'est ça. En fait, j'ai pas capté qu'il allait prendre autant de général. Euh, enfin, de généraux. Et du coup, j'étais là comme un con sans général. Après, il y a un truc que j'ai pas du tout aimé dans ce que vous avez fait c'est le, le général, faut le laisser à papier, hein, à peau, je pense. Hein. Lequel Bah, le premier. Et il... ce genre toi t'as euh... c'est pas très non. Tard, pas très grave bah euh, moi je me suis dit que ça aurait peut-être pu déraper alors que je suis apologite il y avait aucun monde c'était vraiment trop défensif mais bon au final t'as fait du nick et ça allait tranquille mais il ouais. oui il y a un tour ou deux c'était ouais c'était vite fait chaud mais... après mais ça reste quand même une perse donc c'est quand même plus simple pour lui de bah, ça m'a forcé à victor non non non, non de... il, de... il a un land il a un land full open et et il a des OF à peau. En fait, ouais, toi, ouais, si, si j'ai des OF et de général, je suis sûr d'avoir mon timing du sarc parce que je sais que je vais être un peu tranquille, toi. Avec, avec, avec plus de strat, j'aurais pu faire trois fois plus de poney et ça aurait été encore pertinent parce que j'ai rythme initiatique et, et en général, contre rien. Ouais, bah c'est ça en fait. Mais Sur un land full open. Au final, tu, tu, vous avez, enfin, vous avez pas plus, je sais pas si vous avez plus de strat, mais en tout cas, vous avez moins besoin d'en dépenser ailleurs. Donc, euh, faut avoir plus de cafés. On avait une tonne de gold en fait. Oui, ils vous ont mis une gold diff en early, attention. Hein. Euh, idole, hein euh... bah, Idole et dieu de la chasse, je crois. Pour... Bah, et puis ah, Toku oui. qui faisait Toku qui faisait sans GPT, euh... enfin, Toku sans GPT, euh, la perse 90. Euh... Mais ça fait toujours ça, Toku, hein, moi je trouve. Je trouve bah, que ça fait gold en interne. Je... Ouais. Non, mais c'est nul, Toku, bah, les frères. Son, son, son early, oui, tu fais 50 GPT sans problème. Moi, j'ai doublé les portraits vite aussi. <rire> Avant la libre pensée. Ouais, c'est ça, t'as fait que t'as fait 100, mais tu faisais 50 super vite avant la perse d'ailleurs. Oui, oui, bah c'est mon port. Oui, oui. Oui, je vais vous stopper là, mais il semble que c'est toujours bon de parler avec quelques quelques détails. Et bien sûr, si il y a un stream français pour celui-ci, ils sont plus confortables de parler leur langue mère que l'anglais. Merci beaucoup à tous pour nous rejoindre. Et j'espère que vous avez eu un bon temps avec moi aujourd'hui. Vretos et la Vega vont contre les Sharks. Les Sharks ont gagné cette victoire. Ouh, dans les jaws. I do also want to say thank merci beaucoup so much for the gifts, for the follows, for um, the subscriptions. Et j'espère que vous avez Uh, we're gonna see each other um, tomorrow. We do have another game. COC going against Goldbine Library in their first game out of a best of three series in um, the playoffs of the, C of the CPL Premier League. Uh, that's uh, gonna go up on my schedule soon. And uh, of course, if you do want to take a look at the schedule, you can uh, just uh, take a look at my Discord or join it uh, through uh, the um, Twitch command exclamation my Discord or you have it over there in the information or take a look at YouTube videos down below. There's gonna be an um, invite to my Discord. And right here, there's a channel that uh, always gives you the last game that's going to be uh, um, coming up next. And we do have um, the weekly readout over here also in the upcoming games. Uh, after the game, we do have VODs. I, uh, every, after every game has been played, I do make uh, replays out of it with using a Civ replay. And uh, as you can see, you can actually take a look at the action that happened in the game before... Um, you actually take a look at the the game itself so thank you so much for everything let's see each other next time and of course don't forget to follow and subscribe bye bye, -bye.